Oh, hello there. You might be expecting to see two handsome DMs, but instead, by their powers combined, they have made just one me. Uh, oh. Having been near Dustin, I am almost twice his size, so I don't know how big Devin is. So I think if they were to form into a single individual, it probably would be me. Uh, hello, D4 viewers and players. Uh, my name is B. Dave Walters. I say words about things. Uh, I do a bit of the old dungeoning as well as dragoning, uh, playing in DMing. And I'm usually the DM of Dungeons & Dragons A Darkened Wish uh, that airs on the D&D Twitch channel Thursdays at 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, but tonight, I am here with you, and I guess I should probably try and behave myself because Dustin and Devin are going to return the favor this Thursday at 5 and be over with my kids on my show. But they invited me here first, and I am what I am, and I'm just going to do what I do. It's not going to be fine. <laughs> um, uh, so... Uh, but first, as we move along here, uh, let us hear from our sponsors. So despite the anxiety we might be feeling right now, you don't need to feel anxious because we are still giving away Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost, made in full books. Um, put hashtag beyond into the chat tonight to get Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost, made him. If you uh, If you end up lucky, good for you. If you end up unlucky... It is still available uh, September 15th for pre-order on dndbeyond.com. If you pre-order the book on dndbeyond.com, you get a full set of digital dice and six character bat drops. So join the rhyme in Icewind Dale of the Frost Maiden. Yes. You know what I love? Blood of my enemies. You know what else I love? Beetle and Grim Pandemonium Warehouse. Why? Because they have all of the cool stuff. They've got gear, they've got stuff for your game, they've got wonderful items in their shop. You should go check them out at beetleandgrims.com. Also follow them on Twitter because they put out all sorts of neat stuff. They do giveaways, they engage, they're wonderful people you wanna follow. So follow them and go to their website, beetleandgrims.com. Eldritch Foundry is the best place to go if you're looking to make a miniature. Hey, if you need a miniature that has as magnificent a beard as I do, they just added a whole bunch of new beards to their character creator. It's a fantastic way to make a character that looks exactly the way you want it. And if you imagine your character with a really, really cool tail, well, they just added some new tails as well. Perfect time to go check them out. They can make the best miniatures you'll ever have at your table. It's fantastic. Everybody will be talking about them. EldritchFoundry.com. Hey man, you like us, that's why you're here, at least we hope. Anyways, if not, please don't cyberbully us. Anyways, so we are made by Rock Punch ATL. Rock Punch, punch and rocks, that's what we like to do here. Last week I talked about The Rock and how he punches. That's not what we're going to talk about today. We're talking about how they make all these cool videos and streams and podcasts. Like, do you like anime? Got them. Video games? Got them. Movies? Got them. Trash TV? Got them. Like, board games also got them and obviously dungeons and dragons so if you want to see more nerd content check out rock punch rock punch atl and if you feel like supporting what we're doing here or anything repping us in public feel free to give a little searchy search to d4dnd.com where we have lovely t-shirts mugs wine glasses for the highest of elves and everything that your heart could desire so go look for it at d4dnd.com. And confirm the wine glasses are nice and I like them and use them regularly. Okay. The shirts are soft. You know, I would say this would be your last chance to bail out before we get started, but it's too late. You could run if you like, you'll just die tired. And with that being said, let us immerse ourselves into the Chronicles of D4.
Hello, last time on D4, the BFG spread across the city of Splendors to blah, 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 city of Splendors. Uh, to gather a lot of information about how their actions have drastically started changing the city, but we begin our story with everyone now back at Troll Skull Manor, where everyone rests for the night. You all have bedded down and are sleeping peacefully, at least as peacefully as a storied warrior such as you ever sleep. In somewhere in the dead of night, Harold. God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh, yes. Harold. Oh. You awaken and you're in a strange place surrounded by mist. Someone, someone casting spells. I really hope they're making ice cream or something. Give me a perception check. I will. Um, ooh, not bad. Not bad, actually. Uh, that'll be 23. As you gaze around and you are surrounded in this thick, swirling fog, you can just barely make out, even with that high perception, two pinpricks of red light that at first seemed to be just floating disembodied in the darkness, but you very quickly come to realize those are eyes, glowing red eyes. Mm. Mm. Is there anything around me? And what is my surroundings other than mist? As you start to let your eyes adjust to it, you think you're maybe in a, a forest of some sort? It's difficult to say. They're, they, those might be tall, twisted branches of trees, or those might be tall, twisted bodies. Every time you think you see the shadows and the fog and everything just readjust, and you can't quite make it out. Oh, this, this bodes well. Um, well, I think I'm going to have to try to hide from the red eyes. Can I make a stealth check? Uh, you could try, yep. I, I would love to try. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Harold's going to put on his game face. He's going to get very serious now, realizing like, oh, okay, no jokes. I'm actually going to die. Um, that would be a 15. Harold, you duck behind one of the trees and you hear footsteps approaching. Coming straight towards you. I'm going to pull my knife and just wait. Mm. I, I, as they're getting closer and closer, I'm going to peek out and try to see who it is. You start to hear the distinct telltale flipping of a coin, Harold. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, my God. Um... As I peek my head out slowly, do I make out any features of this person? As you peek your head out slowly and look around, nothing is there. Harold winces and goes, God damn it. And I'm going to spin around with my knife and see if it's standing behind me. And right when you spin around, standing right there in front of you, you see Averin. But oh. he looks different than you're used to. He seems taller, paler, almost devoid of color. The only thing that really stands out about him is the sparkling glow of his red right hand. And he leans forward like he's about to say something to you, like a wolf about to pounce on its prey. And when he opens his mouth, you just hear the cry of a raven. And hundreds, maybe thousands of ravens a light from all the nearby trees and start flying over your head and you snap awake. <laughs> is Earl in the room? Is my, is my actual crow in there? You went to sleep on V's floor. Oh, that's right. You snap awake there, but something is wrong, Harold. This is not the floor you recognize. The floor you laid your head down on before was a, a nice worn wood, um, carefully tended over the years of hundreds of feet walking over them. This is 
stony and cruel. Oh. Um, I'm going to very slowly rise up with the, the knife out and just kind of peek and see if V's asleep next to me and then try to get an idea of my surroundings. Yes, they are. But the uh, nice uh, homey quilt that they were covered in before has been replaced by just coarse, rough spun blanket, barely thin enough to ward off the chill that you feel blowing in through the window. Much if. colder than Waterdeep should have been right about now. So, so I see her. She's she's laying right there. It's actually her. Mm -hmm. I'm going At to. At least it seems to be. I'm going to reach down very slowly and kind of shake her shoulder. V, V, V. Do I wake up? You do. The nice downy mattress that you fell asleep on has been replaced by a straw filled sack that sort of like pinches and pokes at you. It's uniquely uncomfortable. But you do feel held, shaking you. Hey, wake up. Uh, what? Where am I? Ew. I don't know. I don't, sure, 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 sure. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think Avrin might have gotten the flu or something. He's acting really strange. We need to get up and get everybody together because we are not where I think we are. Uh, we're definitely not in the bar. Well, wherever we... Wait, Avrin made my, gro my bed gross? I don't know. He's a trickster god. Come on, get up. Okay, okay. And uh, I will help her up. Is her equipment still there? Is all of your still here? yeah, all of your personal items and accoutrement are all there intact. But you also take in this room. This is not the place that you went to bed in. Okay. Uh, the walls okay. are grayish stone. Um, there is a window, but it's got uh, like heavy shutters over it that have closed from the inside. Um, I guess if all my stuff is there, I can change into my normal clothes and grab my weapons. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yep. I do just that. And um, I go to open the window that I'm not familiar with. Is there a window? Oh, yeah. He said there, he said there was shutters. He said there mm -hmm. were shutters. Yeah, the, so yeah, I go to open like, the shutters. It's shut from the inside, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is you open the window and look out. That is not water deep. The sky is a dull blood red. Oh no. Wheeling high overhead. And there are buildings and structures. It is a city. Uh, give me a perception check. Can oh, I also? Okay. Oh, you absolutely can. Yeah, when you, you look out, you see it. Oh goodness. Wait, I have, uh, I have this for this physic thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Florida ice don't exist. Okay, so <laughs> it's uh, a 16. Oh, 15. 16. Yeah, 16, 15. Would either of you for any reason have any particular interest or skill in architecture? I would not say so. <laughs> no. There, um, pretty much B looks at a building and says it's either gross or it's nice. Uh, this whole place is gross. It's all gross. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's all it, gross. Everything about this, there, there is an odd familiarity <laughs> about it that you can't quite put your fingers on uh, as you look at the cobblestone steps and buildings that go off in some distance. It, it is every bit the size of Waterdeep. It is just not Waterdeep. We, we need to go wake everybody up if they're here with us right Girl, now. The sky. Yep. Okay. You are you, right? I'm, I, are you you? I poke you. Ow. I poke you. Ow. Well, not really ow. I just felt appropriate to say that. Yeah. I mean, I, I appreciate you making me feel better about it. That's definitely us. All okay. right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's go see. Uh, get your sword out and I'm going to take out the knife and I'm going to, if Avrin comes near you, let me do the talking. If Avrin attacks you, Whatever happens, happens. And I'm going to go to the door and I'm going to lead through it and be like, if you have to kick his ass, then you have to kick his ass. And is there any sort of thing I have to see through? Um, it is like just a, like an eye hole through the door. 
Yeah. There is not. No. Uh, it is. It is like it is just made out of like a very heavy wood. It, it might actually be iron wood if you think, because it looks like wood, but when you touch it, it is cold, very cold to the touch, unpleasantly so. Especially if you open the window, a chill breeze comes blowing in. That as long as you leave the window open, will continue to make it even less comfortable in here. Uh, I will walk over to the window and close it. Right before you do, you see a large raven comes flying up to you, and it just, like, hovers outside the window. I don't recognize this raven except for my dream, right? Yep. No, the, yeah, it's the ones you saw in your dream was just thousands of ravens. Right, like there so was, it there wasn't, was no, like, a particular... Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. outside of their number, there was nothing There was nothing special about those ones and, there. And this is definitely not Earl, my uh, micro. It is, it is not. Okay, it just I'm, looks like a raven. It doesn't I'm, try and land. It very much just like flaps there in front of the window, staring at you. I take a step back and like shake my head, like like I'm I, I almost like trying to communicate with a crow. Like I don't want it. Mm -mm. If if you uh, oh yeah you're 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 like it's like no at it you know yeah just like no no <laughs> it's sort of and it like shakes its head no at you for a second and then it just sort of shakes its head yes and it just like flies away. Oh, See, I was I about a, to ask the bird if it could talk. I didn't. I didn't want to know because I had a nightmare and I was like devoured by or I don't know what happened. I was lost in a sea of crows and ravens and I don't know. You, the didn't, you didn't want to talk to the potentially magical crow in this alternate universe because you had a dream. We don't know if we're in an alternate universe. This could just all still be a dream. I don't know if it's a dream. Then I'm in it too. Well, I know that you're not dream you. What is dream me? I I don't know. Like like you think we're sharing a conscious mind in a dream? No, I, for all I know, I'm still dream. Look, we got to get everybody up, and I'm going to okay. go to the door, and I'm going to be like, okay, on three, I'm opening it. Okay, okay. not three, and then go. That's a waste of time. On three, okay, because right? we want to we want to be expedient. We want to we don't open waste the door. I open the door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no counting. Hallway the same. Like, on the count of three, three. Uh, it is not. Um, again, the construction of it is again the whatever warmth you remember from Troll School Manor is completely devoid and lacking in this place. Um, it is more akin to uh, well manicured ruins. Um, there are strange tapestries and designs, effects that make it seem like this is a place someone lives. It's not a jail. There aren't, you know, bars on the door or cells as such. Um, it is just completely devoid of any joy. Uh, give me one more perception check from both of you. All righty. Oh, wow. This, this die is loving that. Seven. <laughs> Outload of shit. Fifteen. 15. That you all, uh, again, there's as alien as this is, there's still something, um, something familiar about it. All right, this is wigging me out. Something about this place feels a little familiar. Did we go somewhere at some point that was like this? We've been a lot of places like this, but I don't remember entirely this place like, I you feel know like we've been here before Voss will know should we go wake him up yeah first? let's go find him first okay uh, and then we'll I... we'll walk out we don't recognize the architecture right like we don't like it's not the same layout either it um, is no it is not the same layout we don't know what room he's in should we just start opening doors Harold looks around. He's like, emergency situation. I feel like it's appropriate for us to just start opening doors. Should I kick him open or should we like open the no, door? No, no, we don't, don't kick him open. If you kick a door open for Voss, he's going to stab you. <laughs> That's fine. I'd live. I know, but like, of course you'd live, but that doesn't change the fact that you'd be stabbed if, we, if we're like, hey man, you're in there. Like a quick knock, quick knock. I feel like he'd get up really startled and get his knife ready, but I wouldn't think he'd fully get across the room to stab we me. We don't know that yet. he's not already awake waiting at the door for someone to open it so he can, you know, think about it. If, he, if we're awake, everyone else is probably actually awake. Then why aren't Us. they in the hallway? Voss, Seisha, and Vinley all give me perception checks. <laughs> They're all awake. What if, Harold, Harold, what if I just yell, hey, everyone, 
and see if they come. 25, natural 20. Oh, uh, wow. Natural 20, Vas. Oh, I should say something here. I know that you all play with a number of delightful house rules. I myself only have one, uh, that a one always fails and a 20 always succeeds, even on skill checks. Um, so, awesome. Vas. Scary. Yeah, I've had my you, 20s not succeed, <clears throat> Dustin. As, as you, there's, there, there's, there's, no, there's no crueler thing than to have a natural 20 fail. So that is why I do that that way. Uh, Vas. You, like the coiled cat that you always are, find yourself sort of fluttering awake and hearing Harold and V in the hallway very much discussing the fact that you would stab them were they to break into your room. And the first thing that comes to mind is, of course I would, before taking in these alien surroundings. You are not in your room either. You also find the same stony accoutrement that they did. You don't even have the benefit of the moldy straw mattress that V had. You are laying just on cold concrete. And with a natural 20, I will say, as you open your senses to survey the room, you definitely know Harold and V are in the hallway talking. And you're aware that there are three other people on this floor. Three other people. Besides Stop. Harold and V. I draw a weapon, go to the door. I do not stab anyone. Um, but I do open. Do you announce that? I I'm not going to stab you. So while you all are very much debating, like, he will stab you if you kick open the door. I would live through it. The door opens, and you see Vass standing there. Uh. Hello? Harold, yeah. is this something you've experienced before? No, well, uh... Does this place seem familiar to you, boss? No. Really? I will say, with your level 20 perception, especially now that you've come out here and sort of, like, looked around a little bit, this is almost the exact inversion of Troll Skull Manor. Um, not only is it made out of different things, but things are just in different places. Uh, where there was a painting, there's a tapestry. Where there was a door, there's a wall. It is like everything has been reversed and almost turned on top of itself. So this is it in a way. I relay that. It's like this place has been twisted, cobbled. I sense two others here. Oh. Another one beside it. Like there maybe Seisha and Vinley? Possibly. And but then one other the as well. One. I don't know. Maybe Averin? I, I had this know. bad nightmare. Um, it was bad. And in it, birds. It, 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 it birds featured. And in this nightmare, bad things happened that involved Averin. So we need to be keeping our eyes open. If he seems like he's acting weird and you gotta stab him, don't worry about it. Because Thank he you. was acting very strangely. I will take this advice to heart. Assuming this is my room and you came from what would be the equivalent of yours, yes? Yeah. Let's assume then that they are in theirs. I go next door to mine. Uh, Venley is the closest to me. And I knock on her door, still holding a blade, just in case. I would say you are essentially able to extract, again, from your astonishing deduction, Vast, that you're like, well, Vinley should be there. So if I'm right, she's actually there. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. And knock on the door. And sure enough, Vinley, someone knocks on your door. And I, I look around and I see all of this. Oh, well, the first thing you see is your room. You come to and again have the exact same experience of this is not the room uh, you went to bed in. The difference for you, however, your bed is you are sleeping under a pile of odd furs. Um, strange beasts that um, uh, stripes and spots that, that you don't recognize. It is warm. Uh, but very odd. 
are they like tanned or are they just straight up oh yeah prepared like i mean someone oh, okay. just made blankets out. no Ooh. it's not like somebody skinned an animal just threw it on you like no it's like uh <laughs> cured furs uh for expressly for sleeping but odd beasts that you do not recognize i'll grab the prettiest looking one and i'll put it in my bag as i put on everything and i'll reach out and wave my hand in front of me as all three of my familiars come to me and i will have the door open and have one of them looking out of it to see who's outside it'll just you be the will, frog you all see the familiar face of vinley's frog familiar mm. Poke its head around the corner of the door that you knocked on. Oh my god, it developed sapience. Finally. It was gonna happen at some point. All right, what do you demand? Tell me what you want, frog. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Finley. We're here. Outside. She'll open the door fully and she'll come walking out. Um anyone have any idea what's going on? Not really. I had a bad nightmare. The sky is red, and yeah. uh, water deep isn't water deep, but it's the same size. But all the buildings are gross now. And there was a bird. I was going to talk to it, but it did this thing where okay, well Harold said no because he had a bird dream that scared him. So uh, the bird like shook its head no at Harold, and then shook its head yes, like it understood, and then it flew away. And I think. I'm a little worried we accidentally answered a question it was going to ask. While this is happening, deducing what I know about the layout of Troll School Tavern, like, direct the group towards Seisha's room. Definitely. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or where it should be. So probably yeah. in the basement. Yeah. You all uh, very much like walk along and you're like, no, this was where her room was. And he's like, that's not the room. Uh, if you open the door, uh, it is like a closet now. You're like, oh, okay. It's um, uh, Seisha. Yes. In your room, uh, as you are sleeping, you faintly come to as there's a commotion in the hallway with everyone talking. And you hear very faint snoring. You slowly sit up and look around. You see uh, on the floor uh, in what you would have thought would be a very uncomfortable position, kind of a ass over tea kettle against the wall. Uh, you see a halfling he's got brown skin and red hair with green streaks in it and a clockwork arm that is uh holding on to what looks like a a pillow or maybe a doll that has a smiley face with like frilly red hair around it that he's like laying on sleeping he's like (laughs) hello She'll take a pillow and just kind of lob it at him. (laughs) (laughs) And the pillow explodes (laughs) in the flames. And you all hear this, an explosion in her room and her scream. I rush towards the door, kick it open. We all run with weapons drawn. Yep. Is you all run into the room. The little halfling jumps to his feet immediately, and you see a sword extends out of his clockwork hand. And he's like, hey, hey, wait, ah, ah, wait, hey, 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 don't you, don't try anything, don't you try anything. Oh, free, freely. Harold? What are you oh, doing? Come on, man. Wait, no, no, it's okay. Harold. What are you what, What's what's going on, man? Wait, wait, this isn't it, where cool, I cool. They're with me. They're with me. They're with me. They're cool. They're cool. Okay. Everybody here's cool. Who the hell is this, Harold? Pillow. Why did you do it to the pillow? Harold, who is this? You see the sword very slowly. Whoops. Ah, Oh, no. I did everything terrible. I ruined everything. Ah, I hit the camera. (laughs) That's the problem with trying to change the backdrop. Sorry if I just ruined everything. Oh, he's in charge now. Hey. Yay. Right. Look at my face. Look at my face. I'm the captain now. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Right. 
Now I made you everything. Do what I say. It's true. <laughs> I made everything terrible. You all sorry. Because um, if you're not familiar with Zoom, the virtual background button and the camera button are right close by each They're other. Very, uh, yeah. Very. Uh, oh, look! It's happening in real time. It's all happening in front of us. And now I am everywhere and nowhere. You cannot hide from me in my supreme power. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> podcast hey, people are gonna be so confused because they don't have the visual. <laughs> that is true. Uh, <laughs> podcast people, I, the consummate professional, shut off my camera, and in doing so, it alters the whole overlay. And uh, our production overlords are having to fix it on the fly. This it's is literally good. why we cannot have nice things. <laughs> uh, but you all see the sword that came out of his arm glows brightly, actually, like the whole room lit up for a moment when he did it. And then when Harold says, there with me, everything's fine. And it just sort of like slides back into his forearm. And he's like, ah, hey. what, are you, what are you doing in my room? And where is this? This isn't my room. Hair, uh, hair yeah, I mean, for, like... yeah I'm, I'm, I'm not in your room. I'm not in my room. I'm, I, I, I just want to be in my room. And that's not this. Okay, yeah, yeah, we, none of us are in our rooms. I think we can all agree that this is not any of our rooms and none of us want to be in this room. But as long as we're all in this room, guys, this is Freely. He's kind of like a, a co-worker. Oh, a uh, co-worker uh, from where, uh, Harold? <laughs> that could mean a lot of things coming Wait, from you. Yeah, Harold, is this like another Averin thing? Is this like, I mean, I just saw that guy. We just had dinner last night. Like, if you wanted me to like do a thing, you just could have said something. Yeah, you yeah, didn't no, have no, like, no, no, no. Miracle See, me in my sleep. This isn't like a normal Averin thing. I had this nightmare. Oh. I saw Averin. He was taller and like gaunt and looked like he'd lost all the color in his face and his eyes were glowing red and there were tree people that were like the size of the, and he shot crows at me out of his mouth. Oh. I honestly think something's really wrong. And also if you look outside and you take a good look at the sky, uh, it's our boy, I don't want to say his name because every time I do, I start feeling sick. Uh, but, you know, old Kev. Wait, do you guys know each other from Bag World? Wait, no, wait. Uh, not the Bag sky's World. red? Yeah, wait, uh, sky's uh, red. Wait, no, sky's red. Uh, oh, also, uh, sorry, excuse Storm. me, ma'am. Ma um, <clears throat> yeah. He just like bow. He very much puts the red-headed pillow behind him and bows. And he's like, ah, I apologize. I, I didn't mean to intrude. My, my name is Freely. And he extends his uh, clockwork hand to you. Hi, hi, Freely. I'm, I'm Sasha. I'm sorry I threw a pillow at you. I didn't know what else to do. Oh, yeah, I, I sort of destroyed it. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of yeah. fair. It's not our pillow, so no, no harm, no foul. And, hmm, it's, um, yeah, it's not our pillow, yeah. It's a girl. Uh, all okay? of you give me perception checks. <laughs> yes. Oh, man, I am on fire tonight. I am hmm. not. You've successfully rolled to disbelieve all of this, V. <laughs> a lot. I, I ruled an eleven. Is that good enough for anything? Uh, well, let's see. What 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 did you get, Harold? Uh, twenty four. Twenty four. Anybody beat twenty four? I got a twenty one. I also got a twenty one. Uh, I was a Vinley, Sasha, and Harold. You noticed that is freely basically evaporated this pillow when it when it hit him, and the feathers have gone all over the place. The when you actually stop to look, the feathers are from birds you don't recognize weird multicolored plumage but it is sort of like uh, dull and, and muted like even the colors seem dim somehow the only color that seems bright on any of them is any of the red in their feathers but these are not birds you've ever seen are are the people in water deep freaking out i didn't see didn't when see i looked anyone. out yeah did we see people you didn't i didn't see anyone outside it's just all the buildings are gross now I mean, really? Things are gross. Uh, yes. What is this place? Uh, he looks at you, and when he sees you, he like stands up very tall. He is tall for a halfling, <clears throat> and he's like, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, "I do not know. Uh, I apparently, uh, I guess, something involving Harold and I somehow uh, is afoot, but." I'm sure. I'm sure we'll figure it out. It's gonna be. No, it's a uh, no know, problem. This, this is easy. This, no, this actually yeah, happens me? to me like a lot. Like yeah. I was really like I just kind of was getting used to the place yeah, that and, I was at, and, and, and he and was then, like, doing great there. I'm sure. Really? And, yeah, really? Right? Are you are you one of Averin's warlocks too? Of course, he has a metal arm. Uh, 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 first of all, Al, Al. Um, you, uh, what, 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 I mean, yeah, just because it's true doesn't mean you have to say it. Um, what, what, what is your name? He points at you, Finley. 
Oh, I'm Vinley Galanodome. It's nice to meet you, Freely. It, it is nice to meet you, and you're completely right. My metal arm is directly Avrin's fault, but not the Avrin you know. It was a, it was a different Avrin. Um, it, saying I'm one of his warlocks is strong, as strong. Um, mm -hmm. But it, yes, uh, oh. we work together on a number of initiatives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. did you have a dream about him? I mean, that's a little, that's a little, that's a little personal as you think there. I mean, it, no, where's that doll behind your back? But, 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 have any of you ever met Penelope Neverwinter? Never remember. Yeah. No. Yeah, I have. It's Never remember. Yeah. It's super a Penelope doll. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, never remember. No. He has yeah. a Penelope doll. Penelope doll. Yeah. If 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 you don't know that, it is just like a like a frizzy red haired doll. <laughs> it could just as easily be Seychef. You don't know that. But right. If, you, that if you've met Penelope, it's a Penelope doll. It's a frizzy red hair and like a little like little green, like leafy, oh, uh leafy Penelope. outfit on and like a big smiling face. My yeah. heart. Yeah. <laughs> Penelope, is that what that is? Did, uh, ah, that is that is unnecessary. So, so, yeah, did you have that dream or not? Did, uh, okay. No. I I did it? It's you know. Wait, no, no. I but I dream. I dream there was like a tower and like a crown, uh, and like smoky gems and like a, like a like a gnome. And Avery just seemed like super pumped, like really excited. And you're right, he was like really pale, except for like his hand. Like I mean, first yeah, of all, yeah, his I'm hand. Very happy. That his hand yeah, was right, really you know, I, glowy red. I like this thing, but I feel like he sort of shortchanged me though, because like his hand is like top of the line you know yeah, and like no, mine, no like kidding definitely yeah. one of the best hands yeah, i know but there's some nice up wait oh did you is your leg all right like are you are you oh, good yeah yeah we got it uh we got yeah. a, a replacement uh you know yeah. the previous one was a little uh, yeah, yeah. It, yeah uh by the way this is uh my best friend v uh and he motions to v uh v, Hello, best friend v. v waves hi nice and to meet you this is and he looks over at vox for a second and winces is like bill ronto but it that's an interesting heroing name. Nice to meet you, Bill Ronto. I'm uh, I'm Freely, and he does extend his hand for you, to you too. Nice to meet you, Freely. I am the famous adventurer, Bill Ronto, of the Ronto Experience. <laughs> <laughs> so Freely uh, super got so a natural a natural twenty to see if he's heard of you. Uh, so what humble, would the real, Bill. What would the real stories be? Because Freely like super knows the truth the moment he looks at you. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> He would know that my name is not Bill Ronto. You would also mm -hmm. get the impression I'm not going to tell you what my real name is unless you can magically divine that. Um, he looks at you and he goes, um, ah, It's yeah. a weird made up name. But do you have you adventured under the name Bill Ronto? Yes. Yeah. Technically, okay. yes. Actually, more than you have as boss. <laughs> He, he looks at you and he's like, Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I've heard those stories, Bill Ronto. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Freely, you said you, this has happened to you many times? Oh, yeah, man. Like, no, there was this one time uh, um, uh, we got, like, dropped in some place that was, like, freezing, and we all had amnesia. And then there was a, there was a, another time that we were in this place called, like, Rexentrum. Like, no, that place sucks. Uh, uh, Do not go okay. there. Okay. Um, okay. And, and, and then, uh, and then I, I ended up in, like, a, like a radish patch. Somewhere this other time. Yeah, yeah, um, freely, freely. Free, free. Yeah. So how do these things, interesting life? How do it's, these things like, normally go? Interesting. Man? Oh no, no, they, no, they go great. It all just it just works out, you know. Like I mean, I, I use like find somebody. There's something evil, and it needs destroying. Mean, the last yeah. time we hung out, he told me to pull a card from a deck, and I died instantly. So, oh, you're the one who had the deck of many things. It was not I that had the deck of many things. No, there it wasn't was you, but it was you the one that said that I was too scared to do it. And then I did it. I, be, I, I mean, did you, you were. Well, you that's just, hardly just, his fault, Harold. Well, it just turns out that your fear was justified. But yeah, but you're correct, Sasha, right? Right? Yeah. No, but and look Let's at see, that. Yeah, like, hey, hey, hey. You know, the real loser there was me because I had a staff of the Magi and then I got in prison somewhere for a very long time and I didn't get it back. But you, did, you, but you didn't ask how I got out of the soul prison, Harold. I didn't, didn't realize care. you were in a soul prison. <laughs> Nobody told me you were in a soul prison. What's a soul prison? I saw Terrible. you disappear, and then the, the neighbor was like, it's fine, you'll be back. You know you know what? You know what? It's valid. No, come here. No, let's talk it out. Let's talk it out. Come on. Come here. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> Harold walks <laughs> over. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> like, no, we're good. 
This, All right. Yeah, it's a new apocalypse. A new apocalypse. So, um, you gotta take well, care of it. I'm. Is there a window in my room? There is not a window in this room. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go take a look outside. Yeah, let's all go outside. Freely, you said you destroy something evil, and that's huh? how it ends. Yes. Yep. Hmm? Well, so I mean, is, most of the time, yeah. Is that why we're here? I... Oh, I hope Avrin's not the evil thing. Oh, I mean, if I, I, I didn't have to like travel all this way to destroy Avrin, but you know, <laughs> that would be that would that would be a, a mind twist. Um, uh, I I don't know, man. Let, let's just let's just. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I do kind of like have like a sense for these things. Like I can just sort of like know when evil's afoot. Uh, if you'd like me to like turn on the old noodle and give it a. I think that's probably yeah. a good program yeah. at this point to turn <clears throat> on the old noodle. I'm gonna okay. start putting my armor on while he's right. noodling. Yeah. He very much makes a point to not look at you while you do it, like give you some privacy type things. Oh no, that's awkward. I dropped into your room. You weren't uh, you weren't you weren't ready for your you weren't ready for heroing. I I, I get it. Okay. No, it's fine. Right. I'm just putting on my armor. Oh she, yes. Okay. She's oblivious. He you see, he sort of like closes his eyes for a second and he just goes. Oh no. Uh okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so everybody, uh, don't freak out. <laughs> um, I think the only one freaking out right now is you. Yeah, no, uh, Harold, I said do not freak out, Harold. I'm, I, I'm totally uh, calm, but now you're freaking me out because you keep saying not to freak out, and that freaks me out. You know what calms me valid. down when I'm scared? I, I would, I would definitely like to know, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hold this, and she hands Phelan to you, the giant bullfrog that's undead. Probably the size of your chest. Really looks at it for a second, and you see he starts saying something to it in Bullfrog. He very much like. I think he uh, push its eye right back in like that, and it's fine. Ah, uh, yeah, he doesn't look too good. I think he might have come down with a little case of the, you know, dead. <laughs> <laughs> You can speak bullfrog? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can talk to all sorts of animals. Yeah. That. It's a... I'm impressed. Yeah. Right. Are you it, calm? It, no, but it worked. No, it, no, it absolutely. Okay. You know what? Hang on, wait, wait. I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm brave. I'm brave. Halflings are brave. Okay. So, um, uh, you all, uh, normally, when um, if it's sort of like like evil things are around or like you know things that don't belong on this plane uh, are around, I sort of like um, it actually like smells bad or I get like a gross taste in my mouth, like a at the back sure. of the back of the throat, you know. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, this this whole place tastes bad. Ah, uh, yeah, like everything, all of this, everywhere, this whole like, place. Like flavor. Oh, Does it really matter what the flavor yeah, no, is? Yeah, it's, it's, no, no, we're like, we are in a place, we are in a place that is not good. So let's get out of uh, this place. <clears throat> yeah, hmm, maybe do that. While uh, you all are, you hear a scratching at the door. Not a good sound. Anybody have any pets? Oh, oh wait, maybe it's Biblio. And say she goes running to the door and throws it open. Oh, um, no, no, no. And <laughs> <laughs> you do this. When you open and standing there in the doorway is a very small thing. It is fanged and lipless with an ever grinning, madly staring look on its tiny face. And it sort of like hops back and forth on spindly legs with long arms. And bristles and spines project from odd patches on its pallid skin. And its long fingers end in broken and dirty nails. Cute. Fine uh, sense. Give me uh You, even when you look right at it, uh, Seisha, just something about it is off-putting about it. Like it just sort of makes your makes your head hurt, even just kind of to like gaze upon it. Does and divine it, sense ping as anything? 
Uh, when you turn on your divine sense, you get the exact same experience that Freely got. It is not that there is evil around you or, or specifically, um, it's just a general ex- ambiance. It's general <laughs> extra planar grossness. Okay. Everything is bad. Where usually you might get like, oh, that doesn't belong here. This is the first time in your entire life it has ever felt like you don't belong here. You are the outsider. Uh-huh. And it is just weighty and oppressive. And even as you look at this tiny thing, it is like the entire hallway sort of starts to expand and contract in an odd uh, malaise of things. And it very much leaps forward and tries to bite you. And it's little things just sort of like clang into the greaves of your iron leg. Like, I mean, (laughs) it is completely ineffective, but it tries. And you all see this thing like pounce on her. It's like, Uh, chewing on her leg. I'm gonna throw a knife at it. I'm just gonna smack it in the head with my fist. Yeah, you 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 can do that first. Punch it, knife. Uh, What did you say there, Voss? Stab. <laughs> General uh, stab. You could just step on it. General stab. Actually, uh, instead of punching it, she's just going to mm-hmm. try to push it because she doesn't know what it is yet. Uh, give uh, me an athletics check. You are much bigger than this thing. And I kick her, sir. Uh, <laughs> Natty 20. Wow. Jeez. I will say with that much, you basically kind of like get it on the nape of its neck and pick it up where it's kind of helpless. Like, I mean, it okay. is like scrubbing still, a cat. Yeah. Yeah. It is trying to get to you. But I mean, you're sort of like, ah, hold now. Ah, ooh. Uh, oh, what is, oh, kill oh, that can, thing. I can probably take that. I don't hey, know. You can this. talk to the animals and stuff, right? Can you talk to it? Really? Is this yours? And she like swings around with it. <laughs> and it like wildly swings at every single one of you when yeah. like, it, it gets within range. Yeah. But again, you have it completely under control. All of you, when you look at it, you, it does get, it causes you to feel this odd feeling of aggression. Like when you look at it, like you just want to hurt it. <laughs> like you don't want to hurt anything else. You want to hurt. It. I, I stab it. I punch yeah. it. I punch it. it. No! Uh, <laughs> I will say with your 20, you are able to impose disadvantage on them if you like, where they're like, yeah. See, like, yeah. Right. <laughs> I punch and I punch it. You're like, don't hurt it. She's, she's not convinced this is an alternate universe biblio, so she's going to try to. Well, roll with disadvantage. Bit. You all okay. can try and attack, but she very much with is like, My disadvantage, hand, like, no, I rolled. It. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, no, no, please. Oh, okay, I thought you were telling me to stop talking. Oh, oh no. my disadvantage, I rolled an 18. Uh, that is enough to hit it. Roll your damage. Okay. Uh, it's just four because it's okay. punching. Solid four. Yeah. You bang and then it sort of like swings in your hand. Anyone else uh, attacking it? Yeah, I, I hit it with Eldritch Blast. The first one's a 19. And the second <laughs> one is also a 19. And <laughs> going to... Those are like, those are two hits. I'm, Harold's going to just s- stab it. Uh, but yeah, roll your damage. No, those those are hits. Uh, I can't help it. Uh, Fifteen damage and thirteen damage. So V hits it, and it's like ah, you will never. T- and Harold, Harold's <laughs> like the knife reforms in his hand from where it blows to pieces from <laughs> from the exploding knives, and he's like. It was pissing me off. I can't even describe how much it was pissing me off. It was talking. What was it going to say? Hey, I don't know. Don't you killed my it. Ass. What if this is Biblio? It, well, if it was Biblio, it sure was mouthier than ours. If it's uh, Biblio, uh, why is it attacking you, Seisha? Maybe that's uh, what's how a, it shows love. What no? is a Biblio? Biblio is my pet mimic. <sighs> it's this uh, slimy book. He with looks teeth. like a cookbook. It's a slimy book with teeth. He's a good boy. Why don't we all leave this building and go That's, see you know, it's, another I, place? I, 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 I know what you mean. You. This place isn't right. Right? Yo, you can you can sense it. Yeah, it, it's like, <laughs> it, it's you know, like I, wrong. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I thought you might because I, I got I was getting like a like a divine vibe from yeah. from this here, you know. And when he yeah. says that, like he pressed the digitates, like wind blows up, so you look all like impressive. Like, <laughs> but I, but I, I don't want to like assume, you know, because like people yeah, like, like they, yeah. they yeah they look at me and they're like oh like what's this guy you, you know yeah okay all right yeah, got yeah. it I gotta learn press the digitation jeez. No, you do. It's like super useful, wow, man. In wow, fact, like let me so let me nice. get that for you. He like pressed to digitates like the demon schmutt ash off of you. Like, no, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me get that for you. Yeah. Thanks. Then, mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. Leah's just staring at the back of Freely, like squinting hard, trying to figure out what he is. Cause he's <laughs> talked to animals, used a sword, now knows arcane, and has a, some sort of divine sense. So I'm- Finley's just like. Yeah, Finley, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. It, it, you have a qu- questions? Hmm? Um, what do you do? Oh, he does a lot. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm a hero in mostly. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, that's what <clears throat> I'm a hero. Damn good hero. Nah, thank you, Harold. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm I'm glad you got that leg sorted out. By the way, I mean, yeah, yeah, that was definitely a yeah. lot better. No more uh, drinking with my foot. Um, yeah. so um, let's I, go look outside. Yeah, it, it, he comes over and Vinley. He he offers like offers you his arm to walk. What what? what uh, how tall is Vinley? By the way, she is five eleven. Freely's little. He's like four or five. He is big for a halfling, but he's still very small. <laughs> but he, uh, he, he doesn't offer you his hand like a child, but he does sort of like try and like loop arm in arm with you if you will let him. Uh, as you he doesn't slowly, force it. Yeah. yeah, as you slowly go to put your arm, she slowly moves her arm out of the way. <laughs> he's like, I got like it. A, no, no. Bear. Like a magnetic <laughs> pull. Or... Really? Yeah. Like yeah, he's like, bound, no, he's <laughs> He's like boundaries are important. I get it. I get it. No, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like maybe uh maybe if we survive all this, we'll uh we'll lift the cup and I'll tell you what this thing I got going on is. It, it's a lot. It's 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 a lot. I so do enjoy go your outside. hair. Oh, sorry. Mm. Oh, I also enjoy yours. <laughs> uh, and uh, he hits the prestidigitation, but for you, it's not wind. It's like sparkles around you for moments. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh. All very nice. Okay. Uh so where even is this place? I don't know this. I don't I don't I don't know this. I've never been in this place. I don't know. Where? I'm gonna go look outside and see if I recognize anything. Uh, I've read a lot do- of stories. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, let's go. Time to do some heroing. And uh he do very it. much like walks towards like in the direction of the front door. Uh do all of you head out? Oh yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. As you all come uh, down to the front of the building and you see, again, uh, once Voss pointed it out to you, you see it is basically the inversion of the building you were at before, uh, you know, where the uh, the cook was to serve food. It is the it, that's where the privy is. It is like everything is both reversed, but again, also just inverted is the easiest way to describe it. It is like a dark reflection. Um, it is not quite bizarro world in the sense that it is not nonsensical. There's a logic to it, uh, but it is very much like through a glass darkly, essentially, of where you were before. Okay. Uh, all of you can give me arcana checks. Oh, goodness. There is a chance you may have heard of such a place before. It does exist. Are all doing arcana checks? Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Oh. 21. <gasps> I, you, I got a 20. I rolled a 20. Oh my hey. God. He's heard of this place. <laughs> wow. You know, it's funny that you say that because on a dark and wish, our character who should be the least informed player always rolls a natural 20 on uh, <laughs> any it's called type of, being like, an mis- idiot savant. Okay. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> For for him, we say he's he's drank in a lot of bars and heard a lot of stories. You know? <laughs> That's fair. Well, I have very low intelligence and wisdom. I did have a very high education. <laughs> <laughs> uh 
put a pin in that. I'm going to tell you what you know here in a moment when 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 you see when you f- see the full scope of this place. Okay. Uh, but I, I owe you that. But you kind of got to get out of here to to, okay. <laughs> to see it properly. <laughs> um, as you all are making your way towards um the front door, Sasha, you just get a terrible feeling. It's just all the hairs on the back of your neck. And when it happens to you, you see Freely sort of stops also. See. Feel that? Uh, what is that? Yeah. I'm, uh, did you guys, uh, you, you're like around Waterdeep, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're not, we're not around Waterdeep. We live in Waterdeep. Oh, in, oh, oh, no, I've never, never had the pleasure. I said, I mean, I wasn't kidding when I say I get thrown around. A lot, really. Like the gods just sort of put me where I'm supposed to be. Uh, a little while back, a little while back. Did you guys have like like a whole like earthquake, red sky yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The storm. yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. No, I got this feeling like right before all that happened. Before that was the oh, right, like, like like right before all that. Good sign. Uh, Great. This was water deep. Now it's this weird, gross city. Uh, Sasha draws her sword. Waterdeep, we're outside, so I'm going to look. Do we see the statues? You have yet to actually oh, depart the inn yet. Like, this is like, as you're uh, basically heading towards the front door, as, as you guys get this, this queasy feeling. And you all hear a voice that echoes pretty much from everywhere all at once. Oh, don't be rude, Freely. Our last meeting was not so unpleasant, was it? And he very much just goes, ah. Really? Who's that? that what? Uh, I think you're about to find out, uh, Harold. Harold? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's, a neighbor, there's a neighbor problem, Harold. There's a neighbor oh, problem. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, these, uh, yeah, these, uh, 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 they're probably right outside. They're right outside. They're right outside. And you see, he holds his hand up and a mage hand appears and opens the front door. And he steps back and pulls his sword out and draws a second one from his hip and just sort of stands there in the middle of the room. And as the door opens, standing in the middle of the hallway, you all see two figures, which through the wonders of modern technology, I can send you to our group chat before I describe them. Uh, That is one joy of doing things this way, that it is easy (laughs) to share stuff. Um, Hooray! Hooray, um, I say, is then I very promptly uh, have that window closed. Uh, (laughs) I was like, yay, I'm ahead. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm ahead, I got this. I do not. Narrator voice, I do not. Uh, also, <laughs> I'm very clearly stalling at this point because this pretty much never fails. Every time I'm like, I'm going to be ahead and this is going to work better, <laughs> it then doesn't. That's how technology mm-hmm. is. Uh, mm-hmm. The joys mm-hmm. of DMing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Awesome. I loaded up all these dope pictures and then went so far as to close the tab because I was like, nah, I got my pictures ready. I'm fine. <laughs> And uh, Facebook was like bold of you to assume. Uh, all right. All right. But I got them. I recovered. You see two people standing out in front of you in the middle of the road, and they look like this. Um, one of them is a woman that you, under different circumstances, uh, would be beautiful. She looks like she is made of star stuff like the actual night sky had come to life in the form of this beautifully kaleidoscopically colorful woman. Even her hair trails off like the very stars of the galaxy itself behind her. But this beautiful appearance is very much offset by the fact that she's got a giant toothy mouth right across the middle of her midsection. And next to her, she has someone that is vaguely male presenting, wearing a colorful robe with a satchel with several bundles of scrolls uh, attached to it in a white porcelain mask on their face, carrying a staff. But as you sort of take in the scene for a moment, you notice their hands don't end in fingers, but more a giant mass of worms. 
And as they stand there, and yes, I did eventually send the pictures like I intended to for my dramatic reveal previously. You Ooh, see, oh. yes, it is in Facebook Messenger. Yes, that is mm. what the two of them look like. She is pretty. They need to go. She is. <laughs> she is very pretty until it goes full little shop of horrors there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Has in her, her stomach mid-section. a mouth? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I don't like this. Mm-mm. Carol's Mm-mm. gonna lean over to Freely and be like, "Tell me you recognize these two, and they're your friends." Uh, yes, I do. No, they are not. How screwed it- are we right now? Mm, we ended up running for our lives last time. Great, great. Who are you? <sighs> that is an excellent question. We exist outside of names and nomenclature such as you use, but you may refer to me as Nebula. In my, in my associate here, you may call Depth. Which one is which? Star Woman, Nebula, Depth, right. the worm person. Cool. Um, she looks at you and as you take all this in v you have an odd moment of awareness <laughs> oh amazing <laughs> it's sort of like all of these pieces sort of like come into play here uh you think back to one of those boring lessons that you were just forced to sit through as a girl but somewhere was still filed away as those factoids that your father would make you parrot at cocktail parties to impress his douchebag friends these two things leap to your mind this water deep that isn't water deep the red sky the cold wind the odd architecture Toral, the planet that everyone lives on, that Faerun is a continent on, know your geography, kids, uh, is actually a double planet. It has a twin planet known as a beer uh, that was split away from it in times long past. That was one of the insane incidents of the sundering so long ago that is what was sundered uh toral from its twin planet that was supposed to be flung either to far space or perhaps another realm no one could quite say but if you were to visit such a place you think this is probably what it would look like is toral's dark twin but these things these things they should not be here these are called something called star spawn and they are from the deep deep realms like they should not be here you shouldn't be here but they also should not be here uh what well i didn't think these people existed but they're like Star, what did you call them again? Star spawn. Star spawn? Star spawn. I will I go so far. I read about them when I was a kid, and I think we're on um, a beer. We're on a beer. This is a beer. This is the twin planet. Twins? I didn't think, twin? Yeah, I didn't think any of it was real. I mean. Oh, no. It's real, but it. How did we get here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why these guys are here, though, because they're also not from here. Have I ever heard of Star Spawn? Uh, you can give me history. You can all give me history or arcana yeah. now that she said out loud. I'll give it to you with advantage now that she said it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, sure. Um, you never know what you might have heard yeah. or might have encountered somewhere along the way. That's arcana or history. Mm-hmm. Whichever's it's higher. 23 for each. So uh, 23. Wow, way Natural better than mine. 20. Natural way 20. Mine. We are rolling total. fire. This is <laughs> luck, Dave. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Get it all out of your system now before you start fighting. Uh, <laughs> uh with that, uh, Vinley, is there anything 
uh, beyond what she just said that you would specifically be trying to figure out? Um, what specifically are star spawn? They're from the far realm. That's all I know. That's all I know. That's all I know. Uh, you, Vinley, um, is part of your uh, necromantic upbringing. Uh, were informed of these things is quite frankly almost a form of um, I won't say demonic they aren't demonic they're aberrations they're almost the embodiment of just twisting madness and evil but in a strange way you were taught that is that's actually they're almost good like in a strange way they are like purified malice um, in a way that you could actually see is not so terrible, really. And there is a, you remember your patron uh, coming to you in your meditations one time explaining to you, uh, and what it said was the cultists who blaspheme reality by calling out to the elder evils often speak of a far realm from which these entities hail. In truth, there is no one place in space from which they come. There is the multiverse of things that are, and there is the multiverse of things that should not be. And I relay that little bit of information to you, Seisha, when you ask that question. I will also say, I will go so far as now that you've had a second to take this in, yes, these things that are standing in front of you are star spawn. Uh, and I will give you the bonus, Vinley, of as you encounter different kinds of these, you will know what kinds they are. Um, that what you just killed would have been a star spawn gru, a G R U E, the smallest and weakest of these things that almost are like little scouts essentially. Uh, mm -hmm. That one in the robe is what is called a larva mage. And the other one, the star, the one that looks like she's made out of star stuff would be a star spawn seer. Uh, they are much higher ranking. Uh -huh. And to clarify, I don't get the sense that they are good I get the sense that they are so evil that sometimes they do good? Uh, no, you get this fact that they are so evil that you as a warlock are like, yeah, but that's still useful at times. You know? <laughs> like, oh, I mean, gotcha. They, there's something to be said for distilled, like, mwah, evil. <laughs> yeah. It's the yeah. perfect chef kiss of evil. Yeah. yeah, that's what they are. But they are completely alien in the strongest sense of the word. They are from somewhere so far beyond the prime material plane to be almost incomprehensible. She will uh, lean over to Seisha and save quietly enough to try and say it to where her and a couple of people standing next to Vinley could hear it, but not nebula and yeah, depth but... um she will lean over and say i think we should probably go these these things should not be trifled with but what what are you doing here we have come to offer you a present, Harold. We offered it previously to freely. He declined. You all see for all of your talking, after he said he knew what these were, Freely hasn't said anything else. He's just standing there yeah. with, with his swords out, staring at them. Yeah, Harold uh, does not look comfortable about that. What's um, your gift? You see, when she snaps her fingers, a hole begins to appear just almost in reality and just kind of like rip open next to her. And she puts her hand in it and you all see a hole opens similarly right in front of you all. And you see something come sliding out and land in a hump. It is a body at your feet, and the hole closes. 
Harold's got to carefully lean down and turn the person over to see who it is. Thabrin. Uh, Do you want me to heal him? Yes. She lays on hands for five points. When you touch him, nothing happens. His body is cold. Um, almost icy cold. Uh, Harold. Checks. Sorry. I would just say, give me your perception with advantage. Any of you that have laid eyes on Averin can give me perception with advantage. If you've met the man. Oh. Said perception. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 17. 17. 19. 22. 22. All right, Harold. Um, as you sort of like look down at him and you know, kind of like panic is taken taken over. You notice he looks pale, but almost like blue. Like he's been exposed to hypothermia. Like his lips are sort of blue and his eyes are like trapped open with terror. But this isn't the Averin you know. He looks a little older. Uh, the the Averin you are accustomed to in the depths of his smugness is still sort of middle age, only faintly salt and pepper. This man was probably pushing 60 but it looks just like Averin down to the red metal hand and uh I feel him Harold Harold's gonna like kind of pap him on the face to see if he wakes up he does not he is dead Harold's gonna slowly look up at them to see what you know, he's just looking at them expectantly, like, okay, what, so what is this? We just accept his body as a gift. Say, she's going to close Abram's eyes. Harold, we offer you freedom. We offer you true power. We offer all of you to be kings and queens and emperors and gods in the order that is to come. You all look to this Averin as if he is some sort of savior. He is not. We have broken him. We have broken dozens of him. We will break your world. We wanted to offer you a chance at salvation. Why? Wait, why do you want to break our world? The one that you know as the Larva Mage sort of slides forward slightly, saying it walks would be a misnomer so much as it just sort of comes forward. And it says, it must be all things must plunge into chaos. The master must return. His kingdom must be restored. This is what we have returned to do. What is and Avery gets in the way Great of that. Star spawn. May we have a moment? May we have a moment to discuss your generous offer, please? You are wise as well as fair. Talk amongst yourselves. We have all the time. Okay, we'll just have, have a quick powwow. And it turns its hand and the door slams. Eep. I don't like it. <laughs> Harold's okay. gonna lean down to the others and go, okay, so how the hell are we getting out of this? So, uh, uh, freely. You how see, do- it like sort of takes him a second to take his eyes off the door and he goes, ah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, v. what do you know what they mean by making us kings and queens and destroying all versions of Avery? 
I think they mean just that. Uh, okay, let me give you the, the, the quick version because I don't know how much time we got. And you notice he takes a step back, but he's still very much looking yeah. at the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, um, uh, so, yeah, Averin, Averin was he? He pulled me over to Waterdeep because he said he was looking for something. He didn't tell me what it was because you know Averin, you know him, Harold. He's you know gives you an eighth of the truth, and it's usually not the important part. Yep. And soon, soon after we got there, there was this like red sky, and there was this earthquake, and a portal open, and it was those two, and they came into Waterdeep, and they had a dead Averin, and they told him that like they killed him and that they were going through the multiverse, like finding the versions of him and killing them all. And we managed to get away from them. Uh, there was this wizard, uh, her name's Helene. She's right, nice red hair, Here's her hair was like yours. I say, she's like, no, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, but but she banished them and we were like, yay, we, we won. <laughs> but we went through the portal and when we went through the portal, we were here. I mean, not here. I mean, we were like on a beer. Like I, I saw a city off in the distance, which I guess is this. And. And while we were there looking around, uh, they came back again because we banished them. But when we banished them, we banished them to here. And um, we sort of ended up like running for our lives and just barely closing the portal. Uh, and I kind of volunteered to stay behind to make sure that they couldn't follow us. But um, Averin was able to pull some like techno sorceress wizardry thing to still like pull me back, even though I very much thought I was going to die like on a plane, just like a mile outside of this city. Um, it's yeah. okay. And Seisha just kind of reaches out and puts her okay. hand on all his right. arm. So, <laughs> so these dudes want to destroy all versions of Averin and they want to destroy the world to have their king chaos dude take over and have everything be chaos. And if we take up their offer to be kings and queens within this new world, they're going to leave us alone. No, Karshimis. No, Karshimis. No, no. Their Wait, god hold on. is named wanna... Karshimis. 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 Yes, Karshimis. Sort of Kevin than I thought. Wait, Freely. is that calamari Kevin? Don't say that so loud I, I, in I here. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, calamari. Kev has, yes, yes, Vinley. I want to. I want to ask him a ever... question. Okay, well, which one of you is asking? One of you ask. <laughs> He's like, I'm very confused. Then, like, you go first, because I got to talk to them. Has he ever gone by the name the Harbinger? I, 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 I don't know. I'd never heard of the guy before they, they came to Waterdeep. I, maybe? I don't. I really? don't know. I don't. I don't think he's yeah. the Harbinger. I think someone who accepts the deal would become the Harbinger, if yes, it's Vex. related. But is hang this, on. So we would become that these makes sense. two the mission. I don't think so. I don't, I don't. Okay. Then let's, and I'm like Wait. parsing in my mind, knowing that's an inverted, looking, searching through my mind for an escape route because I don't want to fight these things. I would say you interest. think you, especially with your, with your, with your natural 20 before. Um, Voss, you're a man that every time you walk into a room, you know where all the doors are. Uh, and you had clocked in Troll Skull, uh, a place that you're like, well, if this goes wrong, we're going to get out through that secret passageway in the fireplace. Uh, you think there's a way out of here. Okay. I relay this to the group, but I will wait for Seisha to ask her question. Mm -hmm. Yes, Seisha. Right I'm going to go to the door, open it. Um, mm -hmm. Excuse me, Miss Nebula, Mr. Death, or uh, Depth, sorry. Um, what? Why are you making this offer to us? Seisha, you are dear to Harold. Harold is dear to Averin. That makes all of you dear to us. I thought you hated or, Averin. Oh. And you see the mouth on her chest opens up and it begins to speak. <laughs> you will serve or be destroyed okay well that gives us some more to talk about be right back and she closes the door <laughs> you Seisha oh, you, when you get ready when you get ready to close the door she says hmm I believe you all may require motivation and she taps her staff twice on the floor and on the roof of a nearby building Seisha you see this a crowd 
of terrible things sort of walks to the edge of the roof and like looks down at you very cockily. One of them is a huge muscular thing the size of an ogre that looks like he is just carved out of absolute concrete with red skin that is taut across his muscles. There is a smaller one that looks almost like um, it's got would be almost goblinoid uh, with pale blue skin and four arms that are holding wicked curved daggers. There is uh, another one that looks like a would be the size of a large man that looks like it is injured and almost uh, half dead, nearly undead looking, uh, holding a long great sword that is sort of just resting on its shoulders where it's wearing armor that looks like almost like it is made out of moss of some sort. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a smaller one that is hunched over that is slightly bigger than the goblin. It is hard to tell based on uh, its creeping posture and its arms come out and extend impossibly long into almost like insectoid uh, hooks, almost like a praying mantis. And finally, there is one that looks corpulent and foul with a giant belly that just has rings and swirls that sort of dance all over its pale putrid flesh and as it holds its hand up there is a spinning orb that looks like it is uh tipped with razors of some sort they all look completely different. The one thing they all have in mind as they look down at you is this same grinning infernal smile on all of their faces that go absolutely from ear to ear. So we've been in a lot of encounters together, guys, and I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it right now. This is officially the creepiest one. Yep, I, I agree with that. This one definitely clocks in. Yep. Um, hey, we're, we're just going to take this into consideration. She tries to close the door. Speak quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we will. We will. Okay, so our options are join their creepy cult or run away. Get the fuck out of here. We leave this place. I've never, I read a lot about e this planet. E e e e e too much Time talking, to more money. Time to go, boss. I know. Show us the way out. I, go, where do we go? Uh, quickly um, motion to you, Vinley, and like, can you give us a distraction very quickly? The moment we move, they're going to could be on us. Do you have anything in your... I, Finley or Harold, do you have anything in your repertoire? Yeah, I got something. And I'm going to... <laughs> the moment I, he casts, everyone run. Really, I'm, do you understand? I'm going to yeah. cast Major Image and make the image of all of us coming out one by one from this place and bowing while we all bolt. <laughs> all right. You see I that... I um, see through this, but okay. Oh yeah, freely, 100%, but you know we gotta buy time. Uh, you see Freely just sort of like stands there for a second and he's like standing down looking at this dead Averin whose eyes you've covered and he just goes... Yeah, I don't like running, but this isn't the right battlefield. Um, we'll uh, we'll see you soon, buddy. And he does just like a sort of a pat him on the chest. And you notice when he moves his hands, one of Avron's coins is sitting on his chest. And he just sort of puts his hand, his red hand, over the coin. And he's like, "Okay, I'm ready." And Harold is also kind of like looking at Avron. He has this sort of like almost disbelief like the thought of someone being able to actually kill Avon was so alien to him that he's just like oh yeah let's go let's go and uh yeah the major image will does the major image have sound i believe it does sound smells and temperature and they're yeah, all major, major does minor doesn't mm -hmm. it, they all sound like they're having variations of very herald like commentary of yeah totally yeah 100 percent behind it is the best shit like i <laughs> want to be a part 100 percent. you tell me what i want to do i'll do it got it so the major images appear and you run yeah yeah, yeah. like uh, that. Again, I, leave them, 
At I least in Fort Theory. Yeah, is you guys, is you're following uh, Voss, you're like, where are you going? Like, this does not make any sense. Like, this is the stable, man. Like, what are you talking about? And sure enough, he goes and he just like presses on a wall and it slides open and there is a hidden passageway. And Brad, sorry, I doubted you. <laughs> <laughs> not for a minute. Uh, as right. you all flee through here, presumably you shut the door behind you. Yeah. Uh, you move through uh, a smuggler's passageway. Uh, it's very clear that's what it is. And it comes out sort of uh, in the alleyway on the back end of the inn. And again, as you all come out, you feel just the crisp, biting wind of this place. Again, much colder than it is in Waterdeep this time of year. But now that you're sort of like akin to the, uh, the, the code of this place, whereas before you were in the north side of Waterdeep, you feel like you're in the south side of this place. Um, and as you look, the, the layout of the streets kind of becomes a little more obvious to you. Head for the Presum font. Presumably. The font would be? Head towards the font? Yeah. yeah, wouldn't the font be the opposite of the font? No, it would be information still, but it would be different information. Okay. We can try. Is there anything that I can see from the area that I'm at that looks like a major lawn landmark. Like I can look towards the Blackstaff's tower or as Harold said before, any of the statues, anything that looks like a major landmark that I can see. Everywhere there would have been something large in Waterdeep, there is something large here. It's just different. Um, there is a tower where the Blackstaff's tower should be. Um, there are no statues in the place that you expect to see them though. That's not good. That's not good. The protectors of Waterdeep are not in. If the you can sense, is there any variation in what you feel here, or is it just simply everywhere, equally? It's everywhere. Yeah, no, this place is just not good. It's like, it's like when normally, as we're running, it's mm -hmm. like when normally I would sure. feel something is out of place. We're out of place. Everything else here is strange. Right, because we're on the wrong planet. Right. Uh, it's it's more than that, Seisha. You're not just on the wrong planet. You're on the it's, wrong plane. It's more than just the planet. We're on a different plane. Yeah, we're I'm pretty sure that the twin planet was kicked to another realm, right? I think so, yeah. Great. So now how do we get back? Magic? <laughs> That's the question. V you're feeling just like Seisha and Freely are clearly like a little like queasy as this place is messing with them. V, you're feeling a little gross about the fact that again, like those stupid classes actually came in handy. Like that might be the worst <laughs> thing out of this intrinsically bad day. <laughs> that might be the worst part. That's on yeah. brand, yeah. Yeah, she's just like, <laughs> I can't believe all those stupid mm -hmm. stories were fucking real. Uh, now, now that we know that they're real, we have to get some kind of game plan in mind. We go to the font and we hope to, to all the gods that there's something there that can help us. If there's nothing there that helps us, what's the next stop? Right. So let me ask you one question. First of all, are you all attempting to be stealthy? Or are you are you are you uh, prioritizing stealth or you're prioritizing speed to get away from where you were? I think we should be stealthy. How far did we get before we came out? Like, are, how far away from... Troll you would say we? you feel like you're roughly about a city block. Uh, you sort of like whoa. Okay, so through. they won't hear my armor clinking if I run. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, maybe I say we just speed. Run. Yeah. At that speed. Point. speed. You're all gonna beat feet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as you all sort of are running through the streets, it does sort of strike you as it is anomalously empty. Um, it is vaguely dusk-like right now. Although, as you look around, you don't actually see the sun. You're not sure where this light is coming from. The overhead sky is cloudy and red, illuminated by something that you can't quite make out. Um, but Waterdeep is a, is a city of many, many, many people. Um, this place seems slightly deserted. But as you all are running, uh, give me uh, another perception check. All right. That one was not good. Nope. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's 
perception. You're all dirty success- 20. I was about to say successfully disbelieving here as you guys are running <laughs> into the streets. I get advantage on Teen. perception, so. Mm-hmm. 19, uh, 30, natural, 20. Natural 20. An- natural really? 20, Vinley. Now, I, wow. I appreciate You always have to beat me. I'm sorry. Sure, she does. She does. <laughs> Vinley is you're sort of like running, 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 running through this place. You're like, mm, mm, hang on a second. Hold on a minute. <laughs> you sort of close your eyes, Vinley, and you reach out more with your arcane senses more than your physical eyes. And you realize this place is packed. These streets are teeming. These people are just slightly out of phase with you. Uh, If you had to wager a guess, you feel like maybe they're maybe halfway into the ethereal plane. Like wherever this place is, they're even further as almost to the left. No, there's people everywhere. And as you're looking at them, they're looking at you. Like you guys are running and there's very much people like, hey, come on, like I'm walking here, you know? <laughs> you guys are just barreling down the streets. Uh, Vinley will try to get out into the front and start like then telling people you- in front of her to say, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. What are you you doing? all see this. Vinley very much starts being like, oh, just, just pardon me. I just, oh, God, just I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It just- Vinley, what are you doing? There are people around us. No, there aren't. And then Open no, your eyes. No one there. They eyes. are open. What are you doing? Look, there's a child right there. And I point out a child. No, there's not. And, there is, and when you do that, you see this small ogre child is like, hello, you're very pretty. Thank you. Okay. Uh, then so she stops running. Them. You're the only one who sees this. Wait, do all of us see the kid? No, as, okay. unless oh. you have some form of like ethereal or arcane no. sight, you you cannot detect these people. But Vinley can. I can only see in perfect darkness. Vinley, mm-hmm. there is no child there. Come on, we need to move. Just run. Just run Goodbye. into them. Run through We're them. Not running into anyone. <laughs> Let's go. You I see am. the the, the Vinley when you're like, okay, bye. The child goes, oh, you said run. Right. That bad bad is after you. In turns oh. and pokes. I turn and look where he's pointing. The four-armed creature is like lunging over the rooftops coming your direction. Uh-huh. Thank you, Ogre Child. Let's go. Hi, hi, but Ork, but okay, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ogre Child. <laughs> um, I as you, all, <laughs> as you all are running, Vinley, presumably you point out the fact that you're being pursued. Yeah, I figured all mm-hmm. eyes were on me as I was still mm-hmm. talking to nothing. And mm-hmm. when she turns to look, like very dramatically, like, what are you pointing at? <laughs> Everyone you looks at the same time. See that uh, it, at least three of those things are coming along the rooftops. Uh, the two largest ones aren't there. The three smaller ones are there. The one with the broadsword is running and the four-armed one and the one with the insectoid like pinchers. It is actually on the side of the building coming toward after you guys Aww. as you're running. the front or the back? He's in the front, just running. All right, Seisha's <laughs> going to kind of lag behind to get in the back and be rear guard. He does right. not want to be near that thing. She is freaked the fuck out. How uh, far that, is, away that is a valid reaction. Um, uh, you all had about a block head start and you are running quickly too. So mm-hmm. uh, let's get, uh, I'm going to give you all a group athletics check. Uh, whatever the three highest you guys get will be your athletics for this. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I can Probably guarantee not. it won't. Oh, wait, count, athletics? Count on you, V. I know, I know. I gotta, uh, let me yeah, take a I good mean, die. Yeah, if, if you're capable of flight, uh, expeditious retreat, I mean, uh, you know, anything, I, I, I will give you the benefit of saying you're dashing because you guys are saying you're doing nothing but running, but... Um, yeah. 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 All right, I rolled a 16, sorry. That's a 16. Right, Another natural better. 20? No, but I got a uh, 17 total. <laughs> <laughs> Vinley is scared. She yeah. rolled an 18. All right, that, that is, yeah, you're, you're, you're high knees, Vinley. High knees. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep. Okay, uh, what box get? 14? 24. 24, okay. Harold? 13. So that was 13, 17, and what, 16? Yeah, or I had a 14. 16, 17, and 24 were our highest. Yeah, uh, I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, was, it was 16, 17, 24. Yeah. 
uh, you all see Freely is like weaving in and out of the booths and stalls and things. It's just like moving through like things aren't there as he's like uh, coming through. Um, it, Voss, you like keep getting like 10 yards and then just have to like stop for a second and like 10 yards and stop for a second. It's your friends like, eh, boo, gee, boo. <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, you see these things actually even though they're moving quickly like they'll like jump from roof to roof and the roof like gives way for a second and they sort of like have to like extricate themselves and come forward um so you think uh barring the unforeseen you probably can stay ahead of them for at least a few seconds you might have 30 seconds to a minute before they actually like close up on you but you have a decent head start on them because, quite frankly, all three of them rolled horrifically. I got a two, a three, and a three. Yes! Wow. <laughs> um, so, do we have the opportunity to cast things at them? Are they within like 60 feet? Or uh, I mean, I would say if you prepare yourself, like you can have it go. I mean, they're going to get within 60 feet um, if, if you give them time to. Okay, yeah, no, then I, I, we'll just keep running. No, yeah. for now, unless, I'll, I'll wait unless... until they close to, to do yeah. something about it. Because this is water deep, mm -hmm. are we fairly close to like? Are the buildings stacked fairly close together? Are there alleyways? Are there yes um, different parts there? I would, yes. if I'm in the front, I would like to direct the rest of the group into the one of the narrower, narrower alleyways, so as to at least cut off. There were like huge guys in that way thing you described, correct? Would it seem like they'd have a problem fitting through this? So there were some huge guys, but the ones that are chasing you are the smaller ones. The huge guys are not coming along yeah. the roof. Is the mage with them? Not that you can tell. The okay. mage and the giant red one are the two that are not there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's four hands and insect arms. Yep, four hands yeah. and insect arms and broadsword. Got it. Are the, are the ones that are coming along the roof. Okay. Okay. Um, continue running. I have a hand crossbow. Can I run and attack at the same time? Or can I, do uh, I would say you can. Yep. Okay. Uh, I well, like here's to. the thing. If you are using the dash action to keep beating feet the fastest you possibly can, you cannot do that. Uh, if you slow down enough to shoot, you can get your, still get your movement. I do have a bonus action as a dash. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, there you go. You're Sorry. all roguey. So yes, you can. Yay. Um, Finley will cast fly on herself for this next round. Okay. Um, just to boost Good. her movement speed for a little bit. Oh, all right. I wouldn't take a pot shot at him then. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so you have broadsword, forearms, and the insect arms that is on the side of the building. Which one would you like to shoot at? Insect arms on the side, of the, or the one climbing along the sides of the building, I would like to shoot at. That is a 21 to hit. All right. Uh, let me double check something here. Uh, whereabouts? It's difficult navigating our interactive water deep map when I'm like, it's basically the opposite of that. Um, but which part of the city are you all trying to get to? I believe it's the North Ward. Bond of knowledge. Third. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You all were, you, for our purposes, you're in the South Ward. But yes, by this map, it is the North Ward is the font that you're after in the uh, North um North Ward as well. Let me check. That because I'm looking so. at the map and I don't see it on here. It doesn't mean it's not there, but I'm all like, it is interactive. It is extra interactive. Um, yeah. That is enough to hit it. Yes. Okay. I can tell you in just a minute while you're figuring that um, out. Mm -hmm. Takes nine points of damage. You, it was. And you, Vinley, being the only one that can see the people here, when it screams, all of the people stop and they turn and then they can see it and they begin to freak out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, then, and as, as soon yeah. as they start to stampede, she hovers, like, she'll go to above head height mm -hmm. on all of those people just so if they can... They can't mm. trample her. <laughs> Got it. You whoop, uh, like up, up, and away there as you see Vinley pull out and ahead of it. Uh, yes, you shoot this thing, and it is satisfying, Voss, but it, uh, <laughs> it holds on to the side of the building, keeps coming, yes. looking at you, still with that same bizarre smile on its face as you all are running. Castle Ward um, is where the font normally is. Castle Ward. Uh, let's see. 
the good news is if it's further than I want it to be, I'm going to be like, in this city, it's different. Because <laughs> right? you're in a beer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I will say you all are in the south of the North Ward because that's a thing. Okay. Um, give me all perception checks as you all are coming um, north into the, our reverse version of the city. Natural 20. What up? Hey, oh, natural yeah. 20. <laughs> We, we I'm glad this is, but say I'm glad this isn't one of those things where Who like you know you give something away every twenty give yeah. something away every way yeah right okay um I bring the luck with me I told you Freely's a lucky boy yeah I love uh, that's, Freely. That's, that's 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 what he's for man he uh, he makes everything better um, I didn't get a natural twenty but I did get a twenty two I also hey. got a twenty two. 22 is you all are running through here uh but you see the what should be the city of the dead uh, rising up uh, on the horizon there ahead of you. Um, but it's not that. In fact, the gloom and despair of this place is actually somewhat lifted. And you make out a line of trees that is growing over there. Um, so much so, when you lay your eyes upon those trees, it sort of occurs to you, that's the first greenery that you've seen here, actually. Uh, there are no plants, there are no flowers, there's not even in Waterdeep, uh, like all cities, like there's places where, you know, grass grows up through the cobblestones type thing. No, there's been nothing, actually, now that you've mentioned it, until you see over there, there's a grove of trees. And what That's weird. What? Look at those trees. Oh wait, I don't see that. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. No, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, the I definitely no, do. You're you're a hundred percent clear on it, Harold. Um, but, and even so, with yeah. the with the way everything's reversed, would that be where normally the um, heroes garden? I think it's called. Would, let's see. Your mind has compensated for it at this point. That everything yeah. upside, <laughs> what's everything down is up. Yeah. That should be the city of the dead. Just the whole. That was my second cemetery guess. Okay. area. Yeah. City is... of the dead. Yeah, and it's all alive with life. And... I say we head there. <laughs> well, yeah, that. you know that's a good idea. Hmm. Because you know, life. It's sacred life is ground. Great. It's sacred ground. Well, if it was sacred ground for us, it's probably not anymore. I don't it, know anything anymore, to be honest. It may have been the one thing that stayed true. It's it's God touched. Well, let's yeah. go see. Let's find out You're the hard way, I guess. The city of the Dead? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Vinley. it's the city of the alive now. Could be the city of the alive, <laughs> yeah. Because nothing makes sense. <laughs> um, Vinley, uh, while you are flying in your mind, you hear, Vinley, you're not like the rest of them, Vinley. Imagine if you were the queen of this place, hundreds of thousands kneeling and bowing and making offerings to you, their one and only queen. She, uh, like, at the first sound of it, her uh, flight pattern, like, pulls up and she turns and she's like floating backwards while facing the the crawlers mm -hmm. and you do see like and you all see finley like turn around and look at them as these things are still very much in did, pursuit do we think hear the voice you, you do not this is only in her head okay Emily, mm -hmm. we gotta go oh That's she's still moving slowly. yeah you're still oh, yeah, okay. you're, like looking towards them uh-huh and she pulls out a wand. Mm -hmm. She says, uh, both in her head and out loud towards the skitterers, mm -hmm. she says, you're right. I'm not like them, but I'm not as ugly as you. And she <laughs> casts magic bolt or uh, magic missile at mm -hmm. all three of the things chasing us. 
uh, magic missile always hits. However, I'm going to still let you roll because on the off chance you get a negative tw- uh, natural 20 or a natural one, something else might happen. So okay. no, the bolts will definitely find their mark though. And I should mention this is from um, my wand of magic missiles and okay. I'm expending two, yeah, two charges. Um, so four are coming out and one for each of the small guys and two for the one with the sword. Okay. Okay, so first uh, one. You can just you can just roll three twenties and we'll just we'll see if um you <laughs> might get lucky or unlucky, depending how it goes. The last one, the fourth one is a one. Okay. Is you're like, I'm not as ugly as you. <laughs> and you see the bolts all fly off and hit their mark. Um, Vinley, you do not see behind you that you've flown right into the tapestry that is dangling off of a build business off of a building, and you are temporarily entangled in it. You were like very glorious firing, and then <laughs> you see her kind of oh, hung up. Wizard down, wizard down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's uh four three and five respectively for each yeah when you hit that and you get hung up uh you see freely looks up at you and stops and he goes harold 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 and he turns back and out of his eyes two eldritch blasts come out (laughs) back in the direction of the uh of the people and he does hit the crawler on the wall which uh, oh, hey, my boy, he's lucky. He <laughs> hits the crawler on the wall and it comes off the wall and hits the ground and comes skittering along. But Oof. you see, he very much stands in the middle of the street and he's like, ah, you guys, can you get it down from there? Are we running? Are we fighting? Are we running? Are we fighting? I uh, I'll hold take, up another, the take, another, mm-hmm. I take another shot and attempt mm-hmm. to cut down the tapestry to free her from it. Harold's okay. gonna look and see, like, the, the two main ones didn't follow us, right? It's just these little they guys. They did not. It's just the little guys. Oh. Harold's like, no, 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 let's stay. Let's just let's just wipe these guys out and give us more time to run. All right. I can throw javelins at them. Okay, because Vass is trying to help you, I will give you um, uh, acrobatics with advantage to try and free yourself, Vinley, because you got okay. very hung up in this thing. I got a 21 to hit if that matters. Uh, it does, and that is enough. To, are you still aiming at the skittering one? No, I'm aiming to help mm-hmm. her. Oh, like, yes. Yeah, they, uh, that's why. That's why she's going to get advantage. I mean. Is you, you see, your your friend is very much trying okay. to like hold it steady for you, and sort of like <laughs> saw at some of the edges of it. While you're like, I got a nice. a nineteen on acrobatics. This nineteen is enough to sort of uh, extricate yourself. Uh, but these things are going to catch up in the meantime. Uh, all of you, give me initiative. Alrighty. <laughs> what was that? It's my nervous sound. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to say thank you for the Sentinel Shield. Dustin I am Devin. so mad. I have so I get advantage on initiative, and I rolled two twos. Still garbage, yo. <laughs> so I got two threes. Really exciting. You were you were overly prepared. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let me let me go down the list here. So, what 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 was that total for you then? For uh, me, yeah, yeah. It was three. <laughs> you're not going last. You're going first in the second round. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, Voss, what was your initiative? 19. Okay. Nineteen. Uh, my lucky boy got an eight. Uh, Vinley? I got a seven. Right. Wow, we, we're slow tonight. Listen, I'd- I'm stuck in a rug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, no, like you're very, but yeah, you were otherwise Everybody occupied. Uh, Sasha, thirteen. All right, double digits. I know. That's what hey. I'm saying. Thanks for the Sentinel Shield. <laughs> uh, that is Va Sasha Vinley V Harold. Uh, seventeen. All right. I believe that's everybody. Right? Did I miss anybody? Man, I got Vass, Harold, Sasha, Vinley, and V. 
Cool, 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 mm-hmm. cool, cool. All right, uh, Voss, you were up first. You slash at the tarp and you see that uh, V is managing to extricate herself and you very quickly do the math. You won't get away. Like, they're they're on top of you now. Like, even if you tried to run, they would catch up to you. Which one is closest to me that I can get to? Uh, the one on the ground, uh, the skitterer, would be the closest. Uh, the other two are coming along, still coming along the rooftops, having been not knocked down yet. I will rush the skitter and attack. All right. All right. Uh, roll it. I will. Uh, uh, after this, it will be Harold. You will be on deck. Right. Uh, 16. Uh, that is not enough to hit it. Damn. Okay. Um, Fast. Mm-hmm. Right. Miss, yeah. miss with the rapier. I'm going to follow up with uh, Mage Bane. See if I can hit that. Yeah. That's a nine. Uh, That is also not enough. As you get close to this thing, Harold, you're sort of like, I'm going to put this little thing away. And you attack with your rapier, and one of its little arms comes up, ting, and the second one knocks it away. And it just looks at you with madness in its eyes as it's there right in front of you. Uh, Harold, it is your turn. I am going to... uh... Oh man, I'm going to go ahead and try to help out Voss by casting Phantasmal Force on this thing uh, so that uh, hopefully uh, it's going to make an int save. Uh, What type of damage is it? This would be psychic damage. Uh, And what is it that uh, the spell does? It makes them uh, see an illusion that's no larger than a 10-foot cube uh, that's only perceivable for them for the duration. They will always just justify its existence until they can break the thing, and it does a small amount of damage as they believe whatever thing is real. Uh, And what sort of thing is it that you're trying to manifest on it? Uh, Oh, it thinks its head is trapped in a box that is completely aflame with a strange bluish flame of unknown origin so that it won't think to itself, I'm immune to fire, so that shouldn't burn me. It's like, oh, it's this weird flame. But basically, the main thing, he's trying to block its vision. You, and you see, you can see what you've done to it, Harold, the box, and it sort of stumbles for a second, and it just looks at you and goes, Uh... Uh, Harold is going to take his bonus action to give Bardic Inspiration a Voss and be like, slit that stupid thing's throat. I uh, find this go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is your AC, Voss? 17. Um, you see this thing looks at you for a second, and it just goes, ah, swordsman, ah, friend. And it pounces past you, Harold. Or it pounces past you, Voss, right yeah, onto, it. huh? Yeah, you're going to get an attack of opportunity. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, onto you, V. And you see it jumps on you and begins like viciously stabbing at V with all four of its knives. And it is like, and you see it is like very much like landing cuts on you. Uh, One of which was a natural 20 and hurts a lot, (laughs) V. (laughs) This thing is is vicious. On the attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. On the attack of opportunity, I got a natural 20. I would like to see if it kills it. Uh, <laughs> these things possible. are going to happen simultaneously. So yes, okay. roll roll your damage there, uh, Voss. Okay. Uh, you Damn, see. As I was like, are we doing um, house crit roll? Uh, yes, you all can. Okay. okay. Since uh, I will, I will not take that from you. But also, that means uh, the monsters get it too. Stay uh, okay with that. As long as they don't crit me, that's fine. <laughs> that is that is very selfish for your friend. Yay about team! To get up. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gonna crit me now. Okay. Thirty-five uh, points of damage on that attack. For thirty-six points of damage, V. As this thing is like, <laughs> and 
how do you destroy it, Voss? Is it is like cruelly like rending your friend, like ah, friend, 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 and you do what? Um, Voss? I as it moves past and begins clawing, I would like to jump up and just drive the rapier down right between its eyes and just simultaneously use its way to pull it off B as I skewer its entire body. You stab through, yank it off, and one of its knives is still just like embedded in your collarbone, V. It's just like, Fred, Fred, and it just sort of hits the ground and undulates for a second, but it is dead. Uh, friend. Meanwhile, the other two, um, the big one of this group, there is a bigger one because there's always the a bigger one. Yep. The swordsman comes and leaps off of the building uh, and comes down behind you, Voss, and just looks at you and says, mm, worthy opponent. Good, 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 good. And uh, swings with its sword. Well, shit. We don't know that. <laughs> um, actually, it jumps down and uh, it does say, worthy opponent, good, 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 good. Um, and it sort of like shimmers for a second and you see its sword just like lashes out at all of you. It's <laughs> swords going out. All of you give me dexterity saves. Was Why that does it have to be dex? Uh, no. Did he it, cast? It, no, it physically hits you all. Okay. Like it just basically like explodes. Like, well, actually, hold on one second. Let Quick me clarify. Well, hang on. I need to see if it hits you because it gets a hit <laughs> at all of you. And oh, if it sure. hits you, then you have to make the save. Oh, so, uh, okay. Uh, what is your AC's, uh, Sasha? 21. Uh, it definitely hits you. Uh, does anybody have an AC greater than 21? No. no. Okay. Let me just see here. Is he sort of a chunky boy? It's a chunker. Uh, chunky! Uh, what is your AC, Vinley? I haven't casted Mage Armor yet, so it's you have not. 13. Oh, uh, no. It definitely hits you. Uh, what is your AC, V? 15. Uh, that is a miss on you. Yay! Uh, Harold? Also a 15. That well, is I a wasted hit. my natty 20 on this? <laughs> 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 that is, I mean, there's been a number of them, though. Uh, that is a hit on you. Okay. Uh, I said that was a hit on you. Uh, Voss, what is your AC? 17. Uh, that is a hit on you. Uh, I believe that is everybody, do I, right? Does do I think that if I cast... Except v. I mean, it missed V, oh, but I, yeah. but I, it, it, it had a, it had yeah, a hit yeah. on everybody, right? Uh, do, do I, I think do you if believe... I cast shield, it would save me? Same. No. Got it. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Well, Thank uh, you. actually, you said it was a, you had a, a fifteen. Yeah. Uh, it got fifteen to hit you, so if you cast shield, it would save you. Yeah, I'll go ahead and cast shield. Uh, it got a nineteen right. to hit you, Vinley. Uh, would your shield get you up over nineteen? It would give me to 18. Yeah. No. Then yes. Then yes, Harold, you could save yourself. Vinley, you I will. Not. I will go ahead and do um, that. So those of you that got hit, you take um, 14 points save? of damage and give me a deck save. Gotcha. Um, when Vinley gets hit, because I don't know if there's any psychic things happening, but she thinks, damn it, should have said yes. <laughs> Vinley, as you think I should have said yes to you, you see off in the distance, probably a half mile away, you see Nebula just floating in the air. You can see her because you're up in the air too. She's mm -hmm. not doing anything aggressive, but she is just flying also, watching all of this. Uh, DC 17 is what you need on the deck save. 17. 17. 11. Uh, Voss, it stabs at you and you sort of like ride it back and keep your keep your footing. Uh, the rest of you are very much knocked down. Oh, um, no. Yes, you are knock prone. You also see it hit freely as well, but he also sort of like flies into some barrels and kind of parkours off of it to keep <laughs> his feet. Um, parkour. 
Yeah. Parkour, parkour. Uh, I, but you all are knocked prone. I like um, the imagery of Vinley flying like five, ten feet up in the air and him jumping up and just broadsword, <laughs> just smacking her to the ground. Slapping her back down. Mm-hmm. Get back down. Full anime. Just like shimmer for a second and be up there. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Um, the third one is uh, this old boy. Um is uh the one that uh has the skitter claws uh is coming forward and it pounces on you Sasha. Ooh, and that is a 20. Uh it does not get through my armor. I mean a natural 20. Oh no. <laughs> that's, that's a little different. It yeah, does. Yeah, right. Uh oh, it's no. It just appears out of literally it was on the rooftop and then it just wasn't and then just out of a shadow next to you while you're on the ground buries those two fa- those two hooked barbs down in your shoulders uh Seisha. Okay. uh and you take uh 16 points of slashing damage and 14 psychic damage got it is it leans down into your ear, having like stabbed into you, and you hear it say, Gods can't help you here. Only we can save you. It's like just like down, like looking at yeah. you as it's uh, stabbed into you. Uh. Uh, and uh, you're welcome. This is my gift to you. Uh, and uh-huh. after that, it is, um, Seisha, it is your turn. Awesome. Uh, you are not pinned or grappled. I described it dramatically. Sure, but, uh, sure. You, you will need to use half of your movement to get to your feet. And um, she will do that. hmm And she'll say, uh, what's going to help you? And she will cast, um, or she's going to attack, and mm-hmm. we'll see if she smites. hmm That is a, let's see, the first one is a plus five, 21. Uh, that is enough to hit it. 17 for the second. Uh, that is also enough to hit it. Awesome. And I'm smiting this dude. I know that feel. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. It feels so good. Mm-hmm. One. Where are my D8s? There's another one. Uh, are you going to smite on both attacks? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I, I, will, I will let you land the first one and we'll see if it's necessary to smite oh, okay. on the second one or not. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Probably be... is. He's a beefy boy, but I know smites add up. So, <laughs> yeah, they are fabulous like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then 27. Uh, 27 points of damage. Uh, mm-hmm. it, what does your smite look like when it goes off? Um, it is basically this golden script races down her blade mm-hmm. and erupts from it as she drives it into uh, the creature that she's fighting. She basically, she she stands up and says that, and as his swords are still in her shoulder, she just lunges forward with her sword and impales him on it in this golden light. The script flows down into his wound, and it erupts all around. It jumps backwards away from you, shielding its eyes, but it is not dead. It does pull it. All right, let's do the second. Hmm. And that's going to be 12. 22 plus 24 for the second. Uh, That it also... You see you blow a big chunk in the side of it and it like hisses at you, uh, but it does not go down yet. All right. And for my bonus action, I am going to cast Wrathful Smite. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll give that to you. Awesome. Delicious. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So it that will happen next round because it's the next time you hit with a melee attack. Yeah, I'll let you say that you cast it before you hit. Oh, sweet. Okay. <laughs> Dramatically appropriate. I'll give it to awesome. you. Awesome. Yay! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he will take an extra six points of damage. <laughs> it's like, uh, all of you. Is it uh, a, oh, is it a, if, if the target is a creature, I need a wisdom saving throw. It is an aberration. Okay. Never mind. That. It exists in a place of madness. Um, 
Everybody but Vinley, give me a deck save. Why is it always dex? I'm so bad at dex. Oh, oh! It's a good advantage. So everybody but Vinley is what you said? Everybody but Vinley, because Vinley's flying. This right, is so this is some this. Ooh. Go ahead, boss. Seventeen again. All right. Sixteen. Sixteen. Seven. Seven. <laughs> seven. Of, of confident seven. Uh, is all of you are standing I'm an there? Eighteen. On, Eighteen. Uh -huh. uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I am not making this up. You needed nineteen. So no! did any of you beat any of you beat nineteen? No. Nope. All of you except Vindley, including Freely, uh, feel like something is like dropping all over you. Like worms, a worms. Thick, I choking use... carpet of worms does land on you and bites into you for 22 points of necrotic damage. Oh. And you are, yes. Is it too late for me to use my bardic inspiration? I'll give it to you. Thank you. That's mm -hmm. generous and kind of you. Roll that D8. <laughs> yep. 19's the number you're looking to beat. Okay. It does it. Um, rolled an eight. That's 25. Nice. It's you basically see this coming and you're like, oh no. And you remember Harold being like, you can do it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just a and, floating Harold going by. Yeah. <laughs> Which is weird because the actual Harold's right there, but somehow, <laughs> you know, the, the like glamour shot Harold, <laughs> tiny seahorses, uh, floats by in your mind. Um, <laughs> The Sasha rest collapses to the ground. The rest of you take 22 necrotic damage and are blinded and restrained as you a thick carpet of these worms start to cover you up and like squiggle and squirm over your eyes and mouth, making it difficult to see and hear. I'm gonna use stones endurance to try to be dealt lesser damage. Okay. So that lessens it by 1d12 plus 4. So let me okay. grab a d12 on my back. You haven't Win. a rage yet, have you? I haven't fought oh. anything yet because I'm last on the totem pole. When Seisha collapses to the ground, you yes, all... Yes, I rolled a 12. So I take... So you said 22? It was 22, yep. Okay, so I only take six points of damage. You only take the six. You are, however, still blinded and restrained. I am still blinded and restrained, but hey, at but least- But not, not dying, yes. Because, yeah, holy shit, I've taken so much damage already and I haven't done anything. I mean, it bees like that sometimes. <laughs> and you all see the larva mage just like shimmers and appears standing there on the ground with all of these, um, this carpet of thick squirming worms going out from it in all directions. And it looks down at Seisha and it says, death would be a welcome release. Uh, Freely, however, feels otherwise. Uh, Seisha, uh, he hits you with healing word for seven points of damage. I mean, seven points of healing, healing um, to get you back up again. Uh, and he just like yells at you real quick. He's like, are you okay? Are you up? Oh, yeah. Oh, worms. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see if they burn. Uh, and you see <laughs> he his sword erupts into green flames and he lunges at the larva mage but as he goes to slash down it's just like it collapses into a pile of worms for a second like and just reforms behind him and he's going oh man <laughs> and turns around and looks at him. <laughs> okay. uh and it, it that is his turn uh and vinley it is now your turn the broadsword guy is still up. Oh, yeah. The one that was attacking Seisha, was it? He actually hit all of you. He just sort of was yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, he just like slashed everyone. 
Okay. I was I was attacking forearms. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So uh, right now the ones that broadsword is still up. Uh, insect pinchers is up, but very wounded. Uh, and worm mage has just appeared, and no one has managed to hit him I, yet. Freely just swung at him and missed. Arms. That's mm -hmm. what it was. Yeah. Okay, so insect arms is going to catch a second level magic missile to the face. All right. Because I need some hit points. Yep, that will not miss. Roland. Do you want me to roll again? Uh, no, not far because okay. that was that was because you were doing it like it's a dramatic chase type thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Now is pure damage because magic missile hits every time. Four. Mm -hmm. Four. Uh, do you have a bonus? So that's eight in. Was it like uh, plus three or something or plus four or something? Well, it was four bolts. Three of them were fours. One was oh, one. Four, eight, so 12, 13, 13 17 kay. points of damage. 17. You see Seisha collapses with these worms all over her. And then very quickly, <gasps> and we're in the insect hooks. It's like, ah, no, now you'll die. <laughs> and it just sort of like collapses to the ground right in front of you Seisha like <sighs> like still like sort of reaching for you with one of its uh insectoid hooks as Vindley blasts it dead and this is not a construct or an undead correct it is not they're aberrations so whatever soul it has I absorb it through grim harvest and regain some of its vigor <laughs> yes that's my girl Maybe Thanks, you don't Vinley. make me Vinley oh, no. make me a wisdom save. That's my best one. What could I mean, go wrong? I was about to say, you know, it's cursed by like hubris. It. I don't like it. Oh, what's hubris? I don't know <laughs> anything about that because of my natural 20. Oh my god. <laughs> Is you pull the life out of this thing? You feel it is like something is clawing at your mind. Something is clawing at your soul. Like even as you're attempting to like process the energy of this thing, it very much is fighting to just take over your own mind. And you're able to steal yourself and do it. And you hear that voice again. Mm, I understand now, Vinley. You don't want worship and adoration. You want power. Power we are prepared to bestow. Her head you needn't whips die up. here. Your friends needn't die here. And she looks directly at Nebula in the sky as she's flying equal level with her. But she doesn't say or do anything. She just yep. waits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nebula, she hasn't done anything aggressive. She's still just like over there <laughs> watching <laughs> all of this and uh, whispering in your ear. Uh, and now uh, first on round two is V. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> so um, I'm attacking the broadsword guy. He's still... Kay kick in i presume yeah they so far no one is actually no one has actually harmed him yet yeah, yeah i'm gonna go for him because they seem focused on pincher dude and mm -hmm. i'm too scared of worm guy so. mm -hmm. valid um let's see how far would you say i am from him uh he he would close to melee range to uh, essentially be able to like get a stab at all of you so you're you wouldn't even get need it. to move to get to him oh okay perfect in that case i'm just gonna go ahead and rage first mm -hmm. of all <laughs> what does it look like what does it look like when she rages you see uh, so your, when i your rage friends. yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah so when i rage basically like i go from really pleasant to like really intense and angry almost as if like there's not actual flames in my eyes but you might think there might be and i start glowing <laughs> I start glowing this red and this ethereal red ghostly like woman comes out of me and she looks very similar to me but isn't me along with two other ghostly people um this time around I'm going to pick I should have had the list now, up let, already let me let me ask you one question here did you fail that save against the worms 
I oh, did shit. not. I don't think I rolled a. Oh, yeah, he missed you. Oh, that's right. You were the, was, you were, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, he didn't uh, hit me he, at yeah. all. I was like, yeah. plus, I rolled a 20. So. That is true. That's like, <laughs> you were so good me. at it. He just missed, you know? He's like, <laughs> worms. And you're like, no, like, ah, no worms. Like, ew, yeah. gross. Ew, yeah. gross. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah. You are so, neither blinded nor restrained. Yes. Yes, hold on. Oh, where's the list? Ancestors. There it is, there it is. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I should have had it up. I should have had it up. I don't have all their names memorized. So this time we're gonna have um, Ilbeth Beastrider Vetterock. He is a uh, male Beastmaster Ranger who, so he's this big bald dude, tattoos on his head. And he has a big spiky pauldron and he's holding a bunch of chains with hooks on the end of them. And he has this giant Komodo dragon as a pet who's with him. So that's one of the ghostly dudes. And then the other one that um, is going to be uh, Thulane, the Storm Vetterock. She is this uh, big muscular woman. Her arm glows purple, almost as if it's made of stone. Mm -hmm. And um, she has a big Thor-like hammer. Mm -hmm. And she has a big shield too. She uses a hammer and shield. Mm -hmm. And it's like electricity is coming off of the hammer. Is your spirits erupt and your rage takes over and you start glowing green, full yes. Saiyan transformation. Yes, yes. You see the worm standing there. <laughs> Look at your friends. They will die. <sighs> Maybe some other barbarian will summon them. <laughs> He's confused and goes, wait, but they're already dead. Because she thinks we're talking about the spirits. <laughs> oh, and uh, have that broadsword. Okay, let's see. Woo! <gasps> Natty 20! <laughs> <laughs> this is a good time for such things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Natty 20, Natty 20, Natty 20. Okay. So when we roll a Natty 20, um, our rule is typically. We're, we're doing that. We're doing yep. that the full yeah. damage yeah. and yeah. then yep. added on damage. Okay. Yep. yep. Cool. So the we are doing it. This is the damage. most 20 filled game we've ever played. I, yeah. This is. This like, is. Yeah. I'm, gl I'm glad Literally they landed. Bring in the luck. And so he's like, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's good. It's good. Keep fighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, that would be Harold look good. A, uh, a 12 to start with. Do I, do I add my, okay, really quick. Because mm -hmm. we always do it for me. Mm -hmm. Um, so when I rage, it's a plus two to melee damage. Yep. Um, but without it, I roll 2d6 plus four. Do I start off with 10 or 12 as my starting point? 12 because the 2d6. 12? I just yeah. wanted to make the, sure. The, the dice double, the pluses don't double. Okay. Yeah. Or, you know, the way you guys do it. Maximize yeah, so, the first so and the, roll the second. The, yeah, there. Okay, well, if the plus is... But not Wait. the plus. The oh, dice, oh, not the plus. It's 2d6 plus 4. I said that mm -hmm. math wrong. That's, mm -hmm. um... So, so that is 12 plus 4. Yeah. 12 yeah. plus 4. So it starts mm -hmm. off as um, 16. Eight. You're starting off with 16. Yep. Yeah, 16. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Okay. So and 16, then roll another 2d6. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 points of damage. Uh, then, 25 points of damage. Okay. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then I get to attack again. Uh huh. 25. And this time I uh, hit them with a 22, 21. Uh, that is enough to hit it. 21. It's a 21. I don't do math mm -hmm. well. <laughs> It's all right. It's high enough. You good? And then that's gonna be um, eight, nine. That's ten more points of damage. All right. Uh, you, your sword bites deeply into it, and like, like big, big hunks that like start bleeding. That it always already looks like semi undead. Uh, the others don't. It does, and it just looks at you, and it with that same crazy smile, just goes worthy opponent, worthy opponent. No. And like its eyes oh, no. very much fixate on you. Don't like this. Uh, is that it for your turn? I'm gonna say yes. 
Uh, back at the top of the round, uh, it will be your turn, Voss. Okay. Um, bonus action. Uh, and then after that, Harold is on deck. Bonus mm -hmm. action. Uh, down a health potion for myself. Okay. Did you did fail against the worms, right? I did not. I used Bardic Inspiration. You were kind. Ah, yeah, yes, that. you beat it. Yep. Nope. You're you're sure. good on the worms as well. So I guess take only what is it? Harold in Satia and also Freely uh, fell victim to the worms. The oh, rest yes. of you did not. Okay. Cool. All right. All wormed up. Mm -hmm. um, seeing as Alsatia is back on her feet, despite she is all wormed up, unfortunately. I am mm -hmm. looking rough as hell. Yeah. Okay. I got I got your back I, on that front. Okay. My only person is place of health potions. I hope not. Um, <laughs> Where'd you get the health potions? I am going to flank with you. You didn't have to do that. Aren't like you, you regretting being generous now? Stacia, you open your mouth to sass and just worms. Worms in the mouth. Yeah. I move to flank with move to flank with Vio Miliana um, behind uh, large man and I will attack mm -hmm. him. All right. Yep. You absolutely get in flanking position. Sweet. Okay. And attack. We can continue the streak. 18 to hit. Uh, 18 is enough to hit it. Awesome. Um, Murder that thing. Mm hmm. We'll Let's see. We'll see. You have to broadsword, right? Uh, rapier. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, no, you have to. Yeah, you're broadsword, yeah, broadsword yes, who's you're attacking, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, 18 points of damage on that. Uh, you, your sword bites deeply into it, and like you standing in front of it, V, you even see it sort of like pierces through, uh, and kind of comes out the back as Voss is standing there. And you see the thing does like wince, like, <gasps> you know, worthy, 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 but it has not dropped yet. Damn, I uh, that's my turn then. All right. Uh, I believe Harold, it is you, and then after you, it is going to be broadsword. So, so there it, you go. When it's all like worthy, worthy, he's like, Oh, shut up, shut up, and I'm gonna Eldritch <laughs> blast it. Uh, um, uh, remember, you are blinded and restrained. Oh, right, that's so right. Be, I am yep. blinded and restrained. That's right. Uh, is there a way uh, for me to crawl out? Uh, you will get a save at the end of your turn to I see if see. you can break it. Uh, you can still Eldritch Blast it. Uh, the restraint, you cannot move. You can still shoot, but you will shoot with disadvantage. Right, because I can't see. You yep. know, instead and of, I being instead terrible, of... if you get a one, you're going to shoot one of your homies. Wait a minute. I, was... I, I am a monster. I, I know the perfect spell for this instead. Instead, mm -hmm. I am going to cast Dissonant Whispers at max level because mm -hmm. I don't have to see anybody to cast that. Who One creature gonna... of my choice within range that can hear it is racked with terrible pain. Uh, they seem to have that guy handled as Worm Guy within my reach. Uh, yeah, you know where Worm Guy is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I will. I will hit Worm Guy. Uh, you feel it go off, and it just seems unfazed. It's like, damn. Boy. You think you can affect us with such weak magic? And for my secondary action, I will, for my bonus, rather, for my, I'm, I'm so used to playing a very different game. Uh, uh, for my bonus action, I will cast Healing Word at max level, and you will heal, because thank you, D&D Beyond, 11 points, Seisha. Woohoo! Nice. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Do I have to see you? I have to see you. I can't do it. No. You cannot. You have to, be able I to cannot see her. do it. So sorry. Yep. Um, my second bonus action instead will be instead of doing that, I will do this. Let's see here. Um as a creature within that can hear you, gates of desperation die. Okay, cool. So they I, they only have to hear me. Mm -hmm. I will uh shout to Seisha. Mm -hmm. Uh said we got we've gone through worse than this. You can get through it. Focus and let's do the wall as the worms fill his mouth. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yay. Thank you. 
when you uh, say that, Harold, it the worms just says your fate is misplaced. And you feel the worms bite into you and Sorsha and Freely, and you all take another 13 points of damage. Oh. I fall over. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will, in res- will, I will serve in- us. Mm-hmm. And I will say, like, you really do love talking a lot. And I will cast Hellish Rebuke at max level. Uh, nice. You can Hellish Rebuke off of that. You sure can. All right. And he will take. Uh, and then at the end of your turn, uh, roll. Well, the, technically, you already, your turn already ended. He legendary action to your hellish rebuking. So give me another save against the worms to see if you can shake them. Dex save. Okay, cool. This guy's got legendaries. Yeah. yeah. He's a god. Yeah. Uh, here's the good news you have disadvantage against that save because you're under effect of said worms. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Let me... it's, 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 a it's a self validating effect here. Uh, 17 on the save. That is not enough. Okay. Uh, you know what? You know what? Oh, nope. He didn't say it yet. Never mind. Nope. Yep. That uh, is not enough. 19 damage is how much he takes. 19 damage. Okay. You, flames erupt. And you see a chunk of the worms blow off of him. And he, it just looks over it and goes, not ineffective. And looks back, and then you see that as it blows a chunk of the robes away, there is nothing but worms underneath oh. it. There, there is no body. It is just a writhing mass of worms, the exact same worms that are attacking you. It uh, looks at you, Harold, and it says, You are of use. And points its finger at you. Give oh. me a wisdom save, Harold. Here we go. Is, it, is it casting a spell? It is. Um, I cast counterspell. Uh, okay. Uh, you are able to counterspell. It is like, ah. and it just looks up at you and goes, how ah, rude. <laughs> I look down at him and I'm like, you're eating my friends. Um, the big one. Uh, said, don't, is- don't insult the manners of the worm. <laughs> this, uh, it, the one with the broadsword looks at V in front and Voss behind and just looks back at V and goes, How oh, worthy and starts trying to attack you with its sword. Uh, what is your AC currently in your rage filled form? Rage doesn't affect AC, it's still 15. Uh, 15, it yeah. uh, hits you twice. Uh, it got 15 and 16. Um, it it hits you for uh, 14, 28 points of bludgeoning damage. Again, I'm not accounting for your mitigation. And nine psychic damage. I'm down. Uh, not Did worthy. You, do you... I already used Stone's Endurance. Oh, no. So you said it yep. was 28 plus nine? Uh-huh. Wait, you're raging, right? Doesn't that do something? Uh, that was not halves, accounting. It, it has yeah. the damage. I forgot yeah. about that. I was about to say, I'm not accounting for your damage mitigation. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so sorry. Four, Since 14, I rage, I, I take half damage. <laughs> no problem. Uh, four, 14 bludgeoning then. Uh, I think you still take all the psychic damage, though. Uh, your rage doesn't protect you from that. Most don't. Or does uh, it? Let's see. Yeah, it does not. Since it two out. bludgeoning, yeah. piercing, and slashing. Yeah, so yeah. fourteen and nine, so twenty-three total. I'm still up. Uh, give me Ooh. a con save. Barely. Damn. Oh, I can do this. I can do a con save. <laughs> you should be good at this, but you know the uh, dice have different different opinions sometimes. Uh, <laughs> What'd you get? Did you get that one? I think one? it has a different opinion. Mm-hmm. Nine. That is not enough. It's adding you are your con bonus to it? My con bonus is a plus seven. I rolled a two. Well, your con save. Yeah, yeah, con save. yeah it's a plus mm-hmm. seven. Oof. I rolled a yep. two. Yep. Uh, stunned. Okay. Okay. No more damage taken, uh, though, right? Yep, that, no, that, Am I you, still you, restrained you, and blinded? You are. You weren't. No, you never were. Oh, I never was because I, yeah, I, was, I yeah. didn't get hit. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Because yes. And I attacked anyway. Yeah, so I'm, when, I'm stunned. I'm just stunned. When you are stunned, 
um, it it like just completely turns around and just faces you, Voss. <laughs> Not worthy. And turns and just like looks right at you, Voss. So while I'm stunned, just really quick, am mm-hmm. I still able to use a spirit shield as a reaction to help my uh, teammates? If it requires cunt, you cannot cast. Uh, sp- uh, well, hold on. Let it's, me let me read the exactly. Spirit, I think, is independently acting, isn't it? It I says if it, you are raging. Also... It says if you are raging and another mm-hmm. creature you can see within thirty feet of you takes damage, you can use your reaction to reduce that damage by two d six. There you go. Uh, you can't says. you can't move. You can't speak. You automatically fail strength and dex saves. In attacks against you have advantage. Yes, you can still do that. Yay! Oh, wait. although te- wait, hang on a second. You are incapacitated. You're both yeah. incapacitated and stunned. Let me just double check. Yeah. I think I think incapacitated cannot take yeah, reactions. Can't take no. reactions. So. Okay, cannot. so no reactions. Yeah. So does that mean yeah. my rage ends? Not well, yet. My, no, my rage no. only ends if damage. I go. If I, I took damage, so it yeah. doesn't end. Okay, just yep. kidding. Mm-hmm. Continue. Nope. Your your rage is continued. Um, you cannot uh, will your spirit guardians to do things though uh, while you're stunned. This will last okay. till the end of your next turn. So basically, when it's time for you to act, you won't act. But after that, you'll snap out of it. Um, so I have to take more damage in order to still rage cool. <laughs> if, 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 no one attacks, hard, honestly, if you just uh, want to hit me for one that's fine <laughs> uh Sasha, it is your turn uh, Making i will a death not save i will not have the worms keep eating you yes death save okay do you want me to send you what it was no i believe you you just pass okay. or fail all right here we go naturally i don't have any healing potions so okay i have the means to help but i have to be alive for that uh, no, I was but... about to say, let me let me see if Freely's right. able to help or not. Let's see what 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 my boy's capable of. Um, he, yep, nope, he is also blinded. Let's see, he, uh, hmm, hang on, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him a fifty percent chance. Uh, I got forty percent. You all. Uh, <laughs> see uh freely is standing there still like wiping at these like worms at his face and he just sort of like turns around for a second and reaches out and puts his hand on you uh seisha mm-hmm. and drops a cure wounds on you i gave him a 50 percent nice. chance and i got a 40 Yay! Uh, so he oh, oh hang on he's all out of stuff because i haven't long rested him since the last time i played him sorry hang on no. <laughs> He's like, oh no, I made a spell slots. Ah, I'm tired as hell. I know. I didn't get a full night's sleep. I didn't get a full night's sleep. Ah. Um, he um he gives you back. Come on, DD Beyond. It's easier that way. <laughs> it really is. It's <laughs> yep. fantastic. Mm-hmm. DD Beyond is a digital tool set that will help take your game to the next level. So fast. Uh, so it is. Beyond today. DD Beyond. Hashtag D&D. Beyond. Hashtag beyond. Hashtag, Hashtag ice beyond. bees. Hashtag uh, he, ice bees. He gives you back 17 uh, point, uh, hit points, Seisha. And he's and he just, just looks at you and he's like, oh, come on, no sleeping on the job. Um, <laughs> although he does not set, make his save uh, against the... Um, oh, no. Against the worms. Um, but uh, he does, uh, he's like, Harold. Harold, I believe in you. Uh, he gives you a uh, D6 Bardic Inspiration. Oh, Harold. thanks, man. Yep. Uh, and <laughs> it is say sh- oh, uh, it is Vinley's turn. Ah, uh, um. So broadsword's still up, and Worm Boy is up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Worm Boy, besides the hellish rebuke burning him, has not been hurt. Uh, broadsword, see, he's pretty. I mean, he's beat up. They've they've landed hits on him. But he is definitely up and fighting and has completely turned his back on V and is facing Voss. I will give him a cute little second level. Oh, wait, no. He, how hurt does he look with my keen medical eye? I'll give you a free perception. Oh, cool. Let's yeah. do a 17. Mm, you think he's about half dead? Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Then I will give him a first level and see what happens mm-hmm. first level what uh magic missile sorry oh okay mm-hmm. okay not great for the first one mm-hmm. a little bit better we're up to four damage mm-hmm. 
Oh, now we're at eight plus three, which is eleven. Uh, you and it like you burn holes in his back, but he like looks up at you more annoyed. Um, and he looks back at you, Voss, and he just goes, "Not worthy, not worthy." Still holding his sword there in front of you. He uh, looks offended at that. <laughs> <laughs> you do uh you know the the blows burn holes in him uh v uh you uh snap out of the stun at the end of your turn but it does cost you your turn so you're sort of like <laughs> <"Yay!"> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no um and uh it is your turn Voss, and then harold is on deck after you all right, um, you're at, snapped out of that, which means you're not stunned, which means you're flanking again. So I'm going to go ahead and take that sweet, sweet flanking attack. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, that'll hit. That's a 22. That is enough to hit him. Yeah. Come on. Well, that might be a lot. It's not bad. 25. Uh you hit it and it is like clearly grievously wounded like you land this blow with your rapier and you pull it out and you leave like a hole in it where a foul smelling green ooze starts coming out of it and it just sort of like looks down at the injury and looks up at you with that strange smile on his face and it's like good 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 that good that you burst you burst but it is hurt you you've killed a lot of men Voss <laughs> you're, like, you're like no I hit something important in there something popped that you need awesome. <laughs> uh, something uh, popped that you need <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah bonus action and attack with mage pain okay uh, what is that uh, that's just another attack that I have Ma- right, mage pain is just a, it's a magical weapon but it's uh, like a dagger in this case it's just a dagger Yep, um, roll it. 26 to hit. Uh, that is enough. And uh, one one extra point of damage. <laughs> Think, yeah. Let's see how yeah. popped I did this dude. <laughs> Explodes. No, uh, you, one is not enough, unfortunately. There's been plenty of times where it is enough, but it's not. Uh-huh. Harold. Um, uh, blinded and restrained, Harold. So you will get a save at the end of your turn, though. Yes. Uh, I'm going. I'm. You know. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna eldritch blast at worms. Yep. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it. We're gonna go with it, disadvantage. It, it will be with disadvantage, but you can try. Yep. I'm gonna there's, try. There's, there's there's nobody else engaged with him, so you don't really have any risk of friendly fire. Uh, Otherwise, you would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, that is not enough to hit him. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'll I'll add in my bardic inspiration. Well, do you want to use the bardic inspiration for that or to the save to beat the worm? That's true. That's true. I forgot mm. that I can use it. For Freely's special. head floats by the yeah. worm, Harold. <laughs> Get out of the worm. You have you have seahorses too? <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I do it with prestidigitation. Man, I'm, I want more seahorses. His were better. Okay, I'm trying again. Oh, that's even more of a miss. No. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so my bonus action, uh, I'm going to cast Healing Word again. Uh, this time on, what? Uh, who looks more hurt, V or Seisha? I can't see. I can't see. I can't tell. You can't yeah. see. But I, but I heard V crying in pain, and Harold's yeah. going to panic, and he's going to cast uh, Healing Word at... You can't see them. Uh, oh, that's right. I have to be able to see them. You have to be able to see them. That's why I freely right. couldn't do it. Yeah. Bardic inspiration uh, is my only option. Uh, Aisha, what are you at? 17. I'm at 12. I'm Dice. going to yell to V. Uh, I'm going to be like, come on, V. We got to get through this. I would need you to stomp on some worms for me. And that'll that'll be my bardic inspiration for you. So you got a D8. So. And V uh, just goes, I hate worms. <laughs> Uh, ah! What? Uh, what? Uh, oh no! Roll again to see if you can if you can get free from the worms there, right, uh, yes. Harold. Now on. at the end, you get another shot at it. Okay, what kind of sh- what kind of save is it again? Dex. Uh, nineteen. 
19 is what you needed, Harold. So Yay! you're like, uh, 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 and then you're like, uh, you're like, no, no, no. And Freely's like, no, no, Harold, Harold, the back of the head, the back of the head. That's that's how they get you. That's the go. You are in his voice. <laughs> yes. Yep. You are no longer blinded or restrained uh, from the worms, Harold. Thank you very much. Awesome. Uh, Harold grits his teeth and turns on the worm monster, and he's like, "What stupid shit do you have to say now?" It just looks at you and smiles for a second, and it's like, join me. Make a wisdom save, Harold. And yes, V, it is casting a spell. Okay. Or, uh, or, or Vinley, sorry. Uh, if you wanted to, you have not counterspelled on this round. Um, yeah. Uh, let's so do you're going to counterspell? If you're going to counterspell, I'll. Okay. Back. You are able to stop it, and it like the magic fizzles, and it looks at you, Vinley, for a second, and it just says, "All right, you, you make a wisdom save, Vinley." Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on, let me get to my saves. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Um, I can't cutting words. This. Oh, oh. Good night, everyone. No, no. That was, that was a natural one. Oh. No, it finally came back. The other shoe dropped. It happened. It was bad. Vinley. Oh, the other shoes dropped twice now. Vinley. You realize you've been wrong this whole time. Shit. They were right about everything. They were right about everything. And you immediately fly off in the direction of Nebula. And the worm looks and is like, mm, our work here is done. Enjoy. What the nine health it is. And the worm just collapses into a puddle. The I... swordsman very much is still there fighting, but the worm just. The Are swordsman... we still in initiative? Oh yeah, no, he, no, this, the broadsword does not run. Broadsword is still there okay. fighting. The worm. Are we close? Were we close to worm? Do any of us get attacks of opportunity as it disappears? I, I wasn't close. Uh, yeah, no, no none, none of you were in melee. So range wait, did the it. worms fall off me? Yes, I'll say they fell off of you. You should have been dead like three times over because the worm just poses damage every round. But that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah. yeah no. and since, um, since it's not important anymore, sword. I rolled a one on that death save. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. So I freely sprung into action. Yeah, uh, freely's you, my favorite. <laughs> uh, broadsword does swing at you, Voss. Uh, what is your AC again, good sir? I apologize. 17. I'm, I'm keeping track of a number of things. Um, it, oop, that's a mage. Where is he? There he is. Uh, he, He does, uh, he does hit you. He only hits you once. He swings twice, but he only hits you once okay. uh, for 14 points of bludgeoning. Oh, uncanny dodge that. All right, you do. And you see when he does and you move out of the way, he looks around and sees that he's the only one left against all of you. And you see his sword like glows for a second and he takes a step back and he's like, worthy. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Uh, and you see it is definitely about to do that same thing it did the first time where it hit all, attacked all of you. Damn. However, before it can, it is your turn, Harold. Oh, uh, oh actually, I'm sorry, it is Seisha's turn. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Seisha's turn. Seisha. Um, Seisha turns and sees Venli moving towards Nebula. and mm -hmm. She's flying, but yes. Yes, and she says, oh, like hell. And she starts sprinting forward and these giant wings emerge from her back and they they're sort of translucent and this fog is roiling off the back of them as she assumes her divine form and her mm -hmm. hair starts to wave as if it's underwater and fog is pouring from her eyes and she is going to fly forward and can i reach venley uh what is three times your movement venley because you would have moved move dash like you're, you're trying when you're flying like she would have been rolling as fast as she could so um, I can get 120 feet. Yeah, she's 120 feet away from you because she's like <laughs> the moment it gets her. Yeah, and that's uh, action as a dash. 
-hmm. I can't do any like bonus action movements, but mm -hmm. the fly spell gives me a 60 foot fly this speed. Mm -hmm. Okay, then give me one second. When you erupt into this divine form, Freely looks at you, Harold, and he's like, I can't do that. Can you do that? I, can I can't, definitely cannot do I can't, that. No, I can't do that. Like, never been able to do that. <laughs> feeling like I'm cheated here. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely getting the low end of the stick. Where's Averin on this? Where's yeah, I cool know, form? man. I don't do cool wings. Uh, uh, yes, Seisha. Um, but do you try and pursue her the best that you can? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to okay. do everything I can to catch up. She takes off after her friend. Yep. Uh, and then it is uh, it is Freely's turn. Uh, Would I have been closer to Nebula since I was taking up the rear? Uh, no, because she was flying. Okay. I have no idea why my alarm is going off. Past Dave is a mystery to me. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, he's trying <laughs> to tell me something, but I don't know what. <laughs> um, so just a uh, quick uh, clarification, because I forgot yes. about it because I'm an elf. Mm -hmm. um, I have advantage on being charmed, if that oh. affects anything. We're way too far past it now. <laughs> oh, no, no. I completely understand. Yeah. I just went ahead and yeah. rolled it, and it mm -hmm. was a two on the die. Oh, so oh I would have well, failed it wasn't anyway. a one. Got it. Like, yeah. you're like more, it seems like a better idea now, Ben. Like, <laughs> yeah. As you're flying over, you're like, no, obviously a goddess. Why would I not want that? I like, just, I didn't want to get it ripped apart on the internet for forgetting. <laughs> I got yeah, it. I got it. It is a cruel place. Um, you see, um, Freely just sort of looks at this thing for a second and he's like, ah, no, come on. We need to go, you guys. We need to get, we, just, mm, ah. and you see he comes in towards its two legs and is like, <laughs> you see like a bright green flash and both of its legs come <laughs> and it like stumps to the ground, like on its hands and knees with his sword as he smashes into it with his two blades and jumps back. And he just looks at you and he's like, V, could you finish this thing so we could go, please? I'm doing my best. <laughs> uh, that is it for him. He did land his two smites on it. Yeah, he Damn, did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It was a burly boy. <laughs> it's a chunky boy. <laughs> a chunky <laughs> boy. Mm -hmm. I like him big. <laughs> <laughs> I like him chunky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, you get advantage to attack it because it is down. Trying but, to get back, trying to get back to its feet, but it is down. Well, I already had advantage. Well, actually, no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, I lost my range, but I could have, have raged again. You have more advantage. I've you can still be angry. More. So much. So, true. is it my turn? Oh yes, it is absolutely your turn. Hell yeah! I'm attack Wait, that how boy. Did you lose your rage? Uh, because I didn't take damage or deal yep. damage my last turn. Yep, she didn't act or get attacked. Oh, which she's done. I have oh, okay. to, yeah, I have to either deal damage or take damage. I thought since he attacked mm -hmm. you earlier in the round, it worked. No, it's okay. Oh. But uh, let's see, how is everyone looking health wise right now? Uh, a few people are beat up. Not good. In that case, even though I have advantage, I will rage to try to hopefully be able to use my spirit shield <laughs> next mm -hmm. round. We Hey, you can so uh, rage I'm, is only a bonus action, so you can still attack. Yeah, so I'm gonna rage and I'm mm -hmm. gonna attack. Mm -hmm. Um, really quick, uh, yeah. Harold's inspiration. Can I use that for healing at all, or can I only use that as an attack? Oh uh, yeah, uh, attack well, only saves. attacks or saves. Mm -hmm. Only attacks or saves. Or skills. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna or save skills. it for a save if that's okay. cool. So, yep. um, I just dealt um because we believe in you. Mm -hmm. you so twenty three to hit. Uh-huh, that is enough to hit it. Sweet, and that's gonna be really fine. <laughs> Eight points of damage. Uh, that is actually enough. V, that is enough. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I did it! <laughs> You, well, you tell me what it looks like when you kill it. Cause as you stand over it with your weapon in hand, it looks at you and it just says, uh, maybe worthy, maybe. Uh. This is the wormy boy, right? Oh no, this is a uh, broadsword. Oh, 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 sorry, this is broadsword, broadsword. No, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I meant broadsword, mm -hmm. broadsword guy. Mm -hmm. So he's just kind of down and I'm just sort of like, uh, I kind of just, <laughs> I just like, since it's a sword, I just sort of do one of those and just like stab it a few times. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, ye
Hey, oh, oh, okay. splash oh, zone. There's yeah. a splash zone. No, no, that's it's yeah. very uh, <laughs> unceremoniously, no, just sort I, of like. I, I, uh, no, I think you. I think you got it, B. No, I, I think. I think. I think you got him, B. Okay. B. Okay. Okay. B. Okay. B. Just, no, just be cool. Just breathe. 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 And now, standing here on the streets of this alien city in a beer, your friend Vinley's mind possessed, fleeing to join her new masters with I, Seisha in Hot Pursuits. Can I take a free action to say something? Yes, as long as it's dramatically appropriate before we take it, a long overdue break. <laughs> um, Seisha's going to scream out in Celestial, sister, you promised you'd never leave me. In Celestial, she screams back. You're not my sister, as she flies away. And that is a good place for us to take our quick 15. I apologize, I know that ran long. I was like, no, I wanna get this combat in. And also it's like combat takes forever. So uh, we'll still do our 15 now. I apologize to all the wounded bladders out there on the internet uh, and we will be right back. All right, but Dustin, Devin, like if I kill like all of them, you guys have a backup plan, right? I only kill two of them. Only two oh oh aha, hey no that's not at all the <clears throat> ooh, now it's awkward was that related uh, to our game nah. no that was related to when they dm my game oh i immediately believe you right yeah yeah, um, it, yeah. Wait, I, i'm on, all like i'm like you would never do i know i buy that yeah that the, i'm like roll insight yes the i'm telling insight. the truth <laughs> um as you all stand here in the broken streets of this city. Uh, v, despite your expansive knowledge of a beer and the legends that you were told, for whatever reason, the name of this place in particular seems to escape your knowledge, even though you recognize it is some dark reflection of Waterdeep. You all stand along the dark gray cobblestony roads with the bodies of the star sworn foes laying dead in the streets around you. You are all grievously wounded from stabs and bites and insidious, hideous black worms that burrowed and bit into you that still lay dying and squirming on the pavement. But the greatest wound of all was inflicted by your friend Vinley's seeming betrayal of all of you an immediate flight outward to try and join her new masters. As she flew away, Seisha gave chase after her, but is not able to catch up to her as she hurdles over the streets of, of this darkened version of Waterdeep, telling you that you are not her sister. As you fly over the city, Vinley, you hear Nebula's voice in your mind. Oh, my child, welcome. You finally understand the wisdom of our ways. I just have one request from you, my darling. Let's go where? Tell me what you know of this elder eye and of this harbinger that is its herald. And as you tell her these things, Vinley, Back on the street, you all stand there looking up helplessly as your friends go skyrocketing upwards. Is that, is that normal? Should she be going that way? We should probably follow them. I mean, is she, is she, is she uh, trying to go and like take out Nebula like by herself? Is that what, is that what she's like? I, I, just, I just met Vinley, I don't know. Doesn't really strike I, me as something she'd normally do. I rush after Seisha. Shit. Uh, now I'm gonna grab V's arm and tug her with as we all go running with Voss. Mm -hmm. You see Freely stops and he looks down at the worms and he's like, you stupid worms. And he like stomps on a couple and like Eldritch blasts a few of them <laughs> and runs after you all as well. Uh, what is your movement while you're flying, Seisha? Uh, let me double check. I believe it's 30. Yeah, I think it's standard, isn't it? Yep. I'm double checking just to be sure. Yeah, 30. You so I'm all... using movement and action. 
Yes, she's flying again. It is very difficult for you all to keep up um, on the ground, although she's not so much faster than you. She's just in the air uh, and you guys can keep an eye on her as you're weaving through the streets of this city. Um, Vinley, if I move action hmm? dash, I can move 90 in a round. Yeah, you very much can. You can stay right under Seisha if you like. You can even try and move past her to uh, start gaining on Vinley if you like. Yes, Vast. very much so, if possible. Yeah, you all see Vast very much just like, just like head down, <laughs> moving through the streets. Um, you hear Harold, freely get to hear Harold huffing and puffing, and V is uh, easily yeah. surpassing yeah. him, but he's just like... No, <laughs> no just breathe, Harold, breathe. No, just, just okay. down, down in the stomach, buddy, down in the oh, stomach. So right. I, am, I am 60 feet behind her, correct? Mm -hmm. Well, she is moving 120, you're moving 90, so basically every round she's getting further away from you right but she's uh, getting she's 30 ahead of me each round so i'm within 60 feet yes but ba basically every round she gets another 30 30 she away gains from another yeah. 30 she, she, ga you. she right. gains another 30 so yeah. she is like way while i'm within while i'm within 60 feet of her i'd like to do mm -hmm. something what is it that you would like to do and then we will decide if you could get to her fast enough because she I was like boom, gone. i would like to cast toll the dead which has a 60 foot radius I will let fate decide if you can get close enough to do this to her. You cannot. Oh. All right. She has eluded you. Oh. Damn, that would <laughs> have been good. Mm -hmm. Damn. Uh, Vinley, um, presumably you say what you know uh, to, to her. She I, know <laughs> I recite everything that Vinley knows, which is surprisingly not a ton. Mm -hmm. That's I, all right. But our 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 odds, like the fact that we have been so careful to not share all the secrets with each other, and it finally pays off. This <laughs> feels so satisfying. I cannot <laughs> tell you all the times Voss was like, "We should do this," and everybody's like, "No, no, it's too much." It's like, no, this was well done. Was, yeah, I... winter is coming. Boss is eventually always right. <laughs> <laughs> but I have do to put know. it that way. Do we have to say he's always right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it hurts. Uh, I mean, yeah, because uh, she would have spilled literally all of the beans. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. She does know pretty much a lot of the important things, though. That's true. That's that's the bad mm -hmm. part. Is she doesn't know a lot, but she knows pretty much the important gist of everything. Uh, you see, again, as you are flying and Seisha is pursuing you, you see Nebula does fly forward holding um, this bizarre staff with a head on it that looks like a flaming spinning comet. And she streaks over the skies of uh, this cruel imposter of Waterdeep and immediately flies up next to you. And when she gets there, you see everything around you stops, Vinley. You see there are birds on the wing that are flying, that are in midair. You see your friend Seisha behind you, her face a mask of determination. You even see down on the ground Voss vaulting over a shopkeeper's cart, uh, outpacing even uh, Seisha, doing everything he can to get to you. And you see Nebula looks down at them and she just says, Oh, your friends fight so bravely for you. You are such a wondrous thing. And she just like very tightly, lightly touches your hair. And she's like, your cooperation will lead to their continued existence then tell me something to do, I guess. As she looks at Voss, down at Voss, she, says, she just passingly says, then tell me something to do and I'll comply. She holds your hand and she points towards the trees. She says, hmm, we have something to do there. I will give you your instructions on the way. Perfect. And you all fly over this frozen version of the city. She got 10 rounds out of her time stop. 
in which she does a number of things on the way. Can With you, Seisha and Voss, yes. Mm-hmm. Can, sit, while she's looking at Voss, can she drop something out of her hand? Do you believe it would harm Nebula in any way? Because that is mm-hmm. not something you would want to do. Nope, it's just a mask. Then yes, you could. Uh, she'll just pull out her her mask, the one that's divided into a tear and a heart. Whoa, throat. Um, and she will just drop it and let it fall in front of Voss as they fly away. Uh, give me either acrobatics or athletics with advantage because he's very much not moving even though you are. <laughs> Uh, we're going with acrobatics, and that's a 21. That you lay it basically very gingerly kind of at his feet. You kind of bounce it off of a nearby stall to land in front of him so it doesn't just hit the ground and shatter. Perfect. And you fly with Nebula towards this grove of trees where she does tell you a number of things uh, on the way that she wants you to do that I will share with you privately here. For Voss and Seisha, you all are running, running. She's there, she's there. And Nebula's heading straight towards her, and they're just gone. I, and you casting look locate down, object, and you look looking down, for Venley's bone wand. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. You look down at your feet, Voss, and the mask is there. I pick it up and immediately start searching for her. Uh, what are the parameters of locate object? Locate object is within a thousand feet. Um, I will say because reasons, um, you're within a thousand feet of the one. Awesome. Uh, and you are aware it is somewhere in the vicinity of what you would have known as the city of the dead. The city of the dead. And Seisha will spin and fly off in the most direct path that way. I if will... you start heading that direction, you hear it freely. It's like, wait, 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 hang on, hold on, wait. This could be a trap, okay? Which is, I know I'm the, I like going face first into everything. I will help you get your friend back. Just like, just wait a second. And yes, Voss, you do see like Harold is like very much like, and freely is like, no, no, like deep, no, don't bend over. That's a common misconception that makes you worse. Stand up, no, no, shoulders back, shoulders back. Breathe, let the oxygen in. Uh, and guess, boss, uh, what you were you were saying that you do something there? Uh, I I stop for a moment and but I will turn to freely and call Sasha down. And say, all right, but understand, stakes have never been higher. I hope you know what you're doing. Hey. I know what it's like to make the sacrifice play. I I did it once. I thought it was the end of everything and it was just the beginning of something else, okay? I'm not saying don't go, we're going to go. But what's the plan when we get there? These things are terrible and Worms is still around. Uh, Nebula is still around. There's those other two that are somewhere. We almost just got our clock cleaned by Bugman. Well, I'm not leaving without Bentley. If we can talk to her, we just need to talk to her. She'll, okay. she'll listen. I know she will. She'll listen. No, no magic is stronger than than her will. I look okay. at, I look at the mask I have. Say she looks over. Where did you get that? Boss, where I did you get that? I don't know, but. Let's head over, see if we can see them from a distance. And then we'll decide what our plan of action is. But I take the mask and I bring it into my coat. And I just keep it there as move back, letting Harold catch his breath, obviously. And you see Freely just looks at you, Voss, and he's like, okay, all right, <clears throat> we go. Uh, hold on one second. Let me see if there's something he can... Can he these has... things be killed? I mean, we heard it. Uh, I, you, you, Harold shot it. It was injured. The others I, died. We can kill it. 
I don't know if we can kill that star one, but we can definitely kill worms. She, he, he looks at you and he's like, but she's, she's fast. Like reality doesn't make sense around her. Like I, last time I swung at her and I would have hit, I know I would have hit her and she just wasn't there. Well, we'll, we'll just try to find a way to get her away and only deal with worms if we can help it. And uh, I have a question. Yes. Really. And with all you the said... research, oh, I was just going to say, with all the research I've done on the Far Realms, have I ever come across anything that gives me an indication of a weakness or um, a, a flaw in the design of the uh, uh I'll give you another Arcana check. I'll give you all uh, another Arcana check. And Vinley, I will give it to you, or V rather. Uh, I will give it to you with advantage because you knew so much before. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 23. 23. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Devast, you're like, I'll just stab it. Like, I mean, Natty that is 20. <laughs> 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 wasted my life <laughs> what was that you Vinley uh, or, or V sorry v. Uh, are, you. Are, are you have a lot of V names um, <laughs> it was all coincidence we all showed up and we were like well crap every single person has a V in their name we all uh, showed up except for Harold but we all showed oh, up Harold one. Hovelton realize it's, 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 it's Shavalisbard Harold Hovelton yeah. it's, 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 it's Harold with a silent V yes um you um it's funny that we had a similar thing happen on um uh uh Long Beach by night where we have a player named Al Quinn and we have a another player who named their character Al Quiss at the same <laughs> table. Oh, no. I'm wow. like, cool, thanks. Yeah, you guys hate me. I appreciate that. Thanks, I appreciate man. that. Um I am going to do something unusual because you rolled natural 20s twice, V. Uh, I am going to give you a level of information that I would not normally give. However, I'm only giving it to you and not anyone else. So it's up to you to parse uh, how you <laughs> spread that out. Uh, you're just thinking back to like stories that again, you just, you, ah, you're freaking dead, man. That oh, God, I no, feel like, so special. Yep. Nobody, nobody tell him that he was actually like kind of right about everything. Um, uh, because that that is uh, awful. Uh, yeah, you yeah. have uh, as you've tumbled this around in your mind, you don't know if it's the stories, if it is your ancestors, if it is the desperation to save your friends. But every story that like your old uh, headmistress used to tell you just like comes back to the forefront of your mind and you start to remember so much about these creatures uh, that I have shared with you. I won't put you on the spot there that uh, you can process it, but you know all of those things um, on both of those links that I just sent you, V. Okay, hold you on. You have uh, an encyclopedic knowledge. Y'all, real talk, I basically just sent her the monster stat blocks for the two of them that have nice. all the powers nice. and flavor text. I mean, you rolled two natural 20s. There's no <laughs> way to know yeah. any more than that. You know? I so, have the power. Mm -hmm. So you you are what? quite aware of those things. For whatever reason. Uh, do you want me, would it be easier if I send it to you on Facebook or something? Is it not working no, for you? No, I got it. It's it's making me re-log into... Uh, D &D Beyond. Beyond for some reason. Uh, because sorry. it's opening a different browser. Yeah, and um, so I just like need a second to like verify my account. Yeah, no, you. Well, these this is information that uh, she possesses. That I will say that while you all are are um on the way, you asked expressly about potential weaknesses. I will help yeah. you out here. Be opinion. Uh, presuming you were trying to say that. Um, Here's what you know. You know, um, I mean, obviously, you know all of that. So if you choose to extract some other factoid out of this, that is fine by me, ma'am. Um, oh, but... it wants me to buy the book. Oh, okay. Hang on. Yeah. Uh, can you send her <laughs> screenshots? Yeah. You know what? That's what, what my... it is. It's like sending me to the cart page to like buy the book with the monsters in it. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this a different way here. Hang on a second. Okay. Uh, talk amongst yourselves while I pull this up for her as you all are in pursuit of your friend here. If we can get, 
if we can get to them, then I, I know we can talk to her. She'll listen. I don't understand what happened. I, 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 you guys are so much faster than me. I, we got Something's, there and then she disappeared. I don't know exactly what happened. And Something's wrong with her. She, she said something and it's not her. There's something wrong with her. She'd never say that. All right. What did, what was it she said? May I speak to Freely? Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he's actually, when you took off running this time, he hit expeditious retreat. So you don't dust him the second time, boss. <laughs> when you run, he's right there with you. So yes, you, abs you absolutely can talk to him. Yeah, 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 man. You said that this goes on until some evil is defeated, some parameters met. Yes. I mean, that's kind of been my experience. Yes. Is this the evil or is there something else? Is there some way to trigger us, our escape? I, it, it's, 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 I just, I, I tend to just be where I need to be. I, it's, it's not, it's not like that. It's not like a, a switch I flip. It's, well, let's, let's just, let's get your friend back. We will beat them if we can, and we will run for our lives if we can't. And maybe if we can get back home, we can help prepare everybody for whatever's coming. All right. Let's assume then. Let's go in with this assumption that we cannot engage these things. They're too powerful here. So priority one needs to be just getting Vinley away and then running. Okay. Uh, you got Harold. Harold, when we get there, I'm going to cast a spell on you to protect you from them. Okay. I got the I got the page. I, ha I have more things coming. I'm I'm sending you both of their, th but I'm gonna send the flavor text is from D and D Beyond that I'm gonna try and screenshot for you, because uh, the flavor text was really what I wanted you to see. Did I learn anything with the twenty four? Um. Yes. Hold on. Sorry. I apologize. Please continue no, no. talking amongst yourselves while I'm trying to. <laughs> the question. Uh... How oh, is where do we run to? They, I, I can tell where here? the bone wand is. I'm, I'm tracing the bone wand. All I right. know where she is. Okay. May have to grab her. May have to move. I've only got ten minutes with this. We've got to go. Yeah, presumably you all are moving as as yeah. as you yeah, are you are, are talking yeah, here. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry, I'm gonna just send you this one last thing. I apologize, everyone. No, I know this got li got a little clumsy no, here. Right. No, good. you're fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So the seer, the mage, and that's just some flavor text about what they are on an intrinsic level. Okay, basically. really quick, just because this isn't how I'm used to reading it. Next to the hit points, uh, where it has like the the D8 thing, is that how it attacks with that? Uh, next to the attacks or next to how many hit points it has? Next to the hit points it has. Um, it, so the hit points, that number is how many you've actually got and the number in parentheses is how many were rolled to arrive at that number. Okay, I was trying to figure out what the one next to it was because I was mm -hmm. like, if it deals that damage, like, we're all dead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Okay, nope. cool. What did you um, learn? I got the stat blocks. I, I sent yeah. her the stat blocks. Like, oh, just straight up, just straight good. up, just straight yeah, up. Yeah, I got the, the straight up stat blocks for the mage and then the seer. And then that last thing, um, I guess I have to save it to open it. Uh, yeah, but, maybe uh, that's, that, that is one okay. challenge. Just I'm flavor text. It. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say, Seisha, essentially, they have no particular vulnerabilities. Um, they're incredibly powerful. Um, right. In fact, psychic, they're they are largely immune to psychic damage. Uh, in fact, they, uh, they often reflect psychic damage, so much so, I will tell you this now, since I'm not sending this creature against you ag again. Harold, if you'd hit Broadsword with that psychic damage, he would have reflected it to everyone. Uh, the rest oh. of them are just immune. He reflects it. Uh, so it was lucky that you did. You tried it on the other two and not him. Otherwise, wow. that would have gone abruptly poorly. Um, really bad. Yeah. Yeah. They. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They are. They are not. Um, I mean, they. The only thing they are particularly immune to is uh, psychic damage. Um, they also <laughs> cannot be charmed and they cannot be frightened. 
Um, they and they just have a lot. Uh, the rest I will let uh, Vinley share with you here. V, dang it! I keep guessing. I have a fifty yeah, percent chance. Okay. And I guess okay. right. Every time. We still do it. Like we get yeah. them mixed up. Yeah. So, yeah. so okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm still like reading this. So when it says, Jesus. would you like me to somewhat paraphrase, knowing that you yeah. canonically you know all of this? Yeah. Can you paraphrase uh, how I the can. comic how the comet stack works? I <laughs> yeah, I absolutely will. She <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Oh, can you can you guys hear me? I can hear you yeah. now. I can hear you now. I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, essentially, Nebula can bend time and space. Um, is she can uh, collapse distances. She can extend distances. So it is very difficult to pin her down because she's literally wherever she wants to be. Um, and time and space warps around her. And she is uh, can incredibly powerful psychic and can inflict extreme psychic damage whenever she wants. Um, you know the uh, larva, uh, the the worm, the larva mage specifically uh, can do that thing that it did with the plague of worms almost whenever it wants. Uh, and every time the plague of worms damages you, it's healing him. Uh, the only reason you didn't see that is at the time he wasn't hurt. But he's it. Those things aren't just biting you; they're feeding on you and making him stronger. Um, and also, he is a significantly powerful wizard, but he can just turn back into um, back into worms whenever he wants. But you also know that it takes him about 24 hours to reform. So if he ran, he's probably done for today. Okay, okay. Oh, boy. So you tell us all of that, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, um, they have pretty... Pretty hefty on them hit points. Um, I guess I'll start with the star spawn seer. Um, from what I can gather, I'm not really sure how to kill the star spawn seer nebula, but it looks like if we get them in the same room, the trick to killing the larva mage is to attack the seer uh. because and hear me out her reaction is every time she would be hit by an attack she teleports exchanging positions with another star spawn it can see she can see within 60 feet of her and then that one takes all the damage you, you learned the... all this in a class why haven't you ever mentioned this before? All the research I've been doing on the far realms and not a word. Well, this is a I just didn't really subset. think, I mean, they're super specific. It's only these two types really that I know about. And I didn't even really think they were real. But I mean, honestly, after everything we've seen, I guess I should have assumed. But I didn't That's think we were going to come up against them. Why would I, like, we've never come up against anything like this. So, so, let, so let's, We've never so let's, come up against anything from the far realms? Well, no, well not like these guys. This. Let's be, let's be honest the only with guys ourselves. I know about. We gotta be honest Everyone. with ourselves for a second. I don't think we can fight these things. I don't I agree. Because those other three, or two, there's still two more of those they're super things. Strong. Um, I mean, they're completely immune to psychic damage and they're pretty immune to um, being charmed, frightened, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, restrained, or at least that's the larva mage. Okay. Um, Fear well, yeah. is just immune to being charmed and frightened. We can't fight them. We can't fight them. Let's just throw that off. Let's just throw that off the possible table right now. Also, resistance to cold, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing, and all and um, non-magical attacks. All of this is good information to know, but still, what we have to focus on right now. We have to is get getting to, her. Back. to talk to her. If that doesn't work, we have to knock her out. And just I take her. That. Okay. Uh, hitting her is going to be really difficult we're if not, there's another. We're not hitting. We're, we're, no, we're not going after the monsters. Oh, we're you meant Venley. Sorry, Benley. I got too into my head about. She's not. She's Who is hurt? Strong. I um, am. I am. I give you. I give. Seisha. I, I will take care of myself. Okay, I give Sasha and V two health potions. I keep one for Vinley. Okay, are they greater or Actually, normal? Normal. 
I, I hand it back to you. Actually, I can heal myself. I didn't think to do it. Keep um, it on yourself, just in how, what do I forgot how it was to do for healing? You're going to be getting in close. What do I roll to use it? 2d4 plus 4 for healing potion. Man, I miss my greater healing potion. Okay. I right. will. I don't know why I've seen, and I hold up the mask, Finley wear this before. I don't know why she gave it to me. But I'm going to try to approach stealthily. Biomiliana, can these things see past invisibility? Oh, is he there? Uh, <laughs> sorry, one moment. Say that again. Can these things see past invisibility? Like with my lantern. Can I see past invisibility? That's a good question. Um, uh, I will, I'll, no, I'll help you with that. Yeah. No. The, oh, they as, can? As far, I was, as far as you know, the seer can't. Uh, the larva mage is a mage um, and uh, may have some other capabilities, but as far as you can tell, neither of them can see invisible. Okay. Yeah, they just have uh, they have dark vision and just really high perception. Harold, can you cast invisibility on Seisha? Yep. You can. You have abilities that will allow her to you to grab her, right? Yes. Yes. I will try my best to approach and talk. If that doesn't work. Move in close and grab her. If one of us is going to talk, it should probably be me. No. In this case, it should be Voss. If you get hit, that lowers the invisibility. I understand. Right? Uh, yeah. And once you do something, it's going to... I don't think getting hit will lower it, but doing something will lower it. Okay. We're good. Okay. (sighs) I'm going to cast invisibility... Once we once we're there, once we're getting close, I'll wait. Obviously, yes. You uh, you have some insight into the location of the wand, and as you all approach what you would know as the city of the dead, and um, have you all ever been to the Feywild by chance? Not yet. E- well, you know what. V the well learned. This also <laughs> seems like <laughs> something they'd mention to you. As you get to the edge of what should be the city of the dead with its towering walls that are that are always guarded, here it is like huge, impossibly tall hedges. Um, but they are wild and unkempt. They're by no means manicured. This forest is intensely strong uh the trees are solid and thick and knotty the flowers are like large they almost look if plants could look aggressive as you can see it is almost like life is forcing its way into this place like (laughs) <laughs> bloom <laughs> you know <laughs> like they uh life they will do... find a way yeah right exactly like life is like it's a hostile incursion from the Feywild into this plane um where it is like unchecked in in twisted but it is still in a strange way uh more calming than just the crushing ennui that you feel all around here it is like just a chunk of the Feywild dropped right on where the City of the Dead would have been. Your friend is somewhere in there. She's this way. Okay. Okay. Tell us when we're close and then Harold. Here. And since Seisha's invisible, um, are we we close? Yeah, I would say you. It, it's since you know within a thousand feet right. of where yeah. of where she is. I mean, you can get to basically wherever you want to be okay. before it, before you do whatever it is you do. I'm going to cast it at third level, uh, and I'm going to invisible both V and Sasha. Okay. 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 You could do that. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I can do. I would say. I will say before you hold up, hold up. I will before say before you do, you do that. Before you do. Oh, yeah, you have time. Protection yeah. from good and evil on Harold. Okay, and you know what that does? No. Okay, it um, it's gonna I... give you. Go ahead. Um, it's gonna give you a couple things. Um, it gives you, it protects you from aberrations, and as a result of that, you can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. Um. And they have uh, disadvantage on attack rolls against you. 
Nice. Thank you. What were you saying? I go up to you, Harold. I take both your shoulders and I say, if ever there was a time I needed you to inspire me, it's now. I am going to uh, stare him in the uh, stare him in the eye, and I'm going to like think for a second and be like, Harold clearly is fighting with. Do I make this a joke? And he finally stares him in the eye, and he's like, Vinley should be inspiration enough, and I will give you bardic inspiration. Okay, I take it. And I will. How long does Bardic Inspiration last? Do I still have it? Walk towards the yeah, 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 yeah. You you have it if you haven't used it. Okay. Is you all walk towards the clearing, Vinley? You very much hear in your mind. Oh, here comes the conclusion, child. I will give them one last chance to surrender, but I fear they may force me to harm them. Let me talk to them, Nebula. Hmm. Has she gotten saving throws during this? Uh, they haven't done anything that would force it yet. Mm. Okay. Yeah. They, she she hasn't she hasn't been put in any in any situation that would warrant it yet. They so okay. far they've they've only talked. Um, she says, uh, "We don't know your friends, but we know Avrin. He is a trickster that ensnares people with his honeyed words. Stay here with me for a moment. I'm." deeply suspicious of what they might be able to poison you with were they able to speak. She says, but I think you will see in a moment it wouldn't make any difference what they have to say. She'll stand there and wait. Can I ask you a terrible question, my child? As long as you're expecting a terrible answer, Nebula. Which one of them do you love the most? And you tell her, but I will allow you to message it to me directly so that the entire internet can suffer in unison. <laughs> As you all approach this thick, craggy area of wilderness, again, it is dense in the trees. The vines are knotty and rough. Again, it is like a low speed battle is taking place here for the plants to gain every inch in here. As you all make it through, all of you give me perception checks. No, <laughs> not after that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am not even kidding. Natural 20. Hey. I got a 14. That's amazing. Where to go? Yeah. Imagine if we weren't getting this lucky. I know. God. Imagine. Yeah, we're imagine. <laughs> we're only here, like crawling our way in, blood <laughs> pouring from us, like, I got another natural 20, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming through this place. You look to the side and you see those red eyes again in one of the shadows. Avrin's eyes. Harold, you are worthy. And you look out and you see things clearly for the first time this entire time, Harold. Your eyes take in the clearing. You see that giant red monstrosity standing in the middle of the clearing, holding a club, just sort of flexing its impossibly large muscles that sort of stretch against every inch of its skin. Up in a nearby tree, you see the fat one with the swirls and magic standing on a branch, very much waiting in ambush higher up, but you see him. You also see Nebula 
standing there in the middle of the clearing. You do not see Vinley. She stands there with her arms out, expecting expectantly. I'm going to lean over to V, where I, I like feel around and I'm like feel a muscular arm that's not covered in armor, and I'm like, okay, V. <laughs> I'm going to mm-hmm. lean over and be like, "Are they immune to illusions?" And you can answer that, Dave, if you. As far want. as you know, they're not. They're still sentient. I mean, they they can be they can be fooled like anything. I don't. Um, I don't think they're immune to illusions. Um, I can send someone in other than you, Voss, to buy time and just say what you want me to say. That's not a bad idea. Oh, wait, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I, I'm out of spell two, slots. You're holding a spell. No, I, I don't. I can't do it. That's right. Yeah. Never mind. Mm-hmm. We're good. It'll have to be, it'll have to be us. She mm-hmm. gave him the mask for a reason. It needs to be Voss. I and you forward. do not feel like you have the time for a short rest. Yep. So I'm going to look <laughs> over at you and be like, well, I'm going out there with you if they're going in invisible. We're not going, I'm not letting you go in solo. To be clear, it is who is invisible and who is visible? Uh, invisible. Seisha and V are both invisible. Seisha and V are invisible. Voss and Harold are visible. Yeah. Right. I walk forward. Harold. You can tell Voss mm-hmm. is absolutely terrified of the situation at the same time. And Harold's going to pat him on the chest once or twice and go, hey, man, hey, it's us. We're going to do this. That's all there is. There is no failure because it's not an option. Me and you, we've done it before. Yes. We're going to do it again. And look, we got Freely this time. And we got we got Invisible backup. We're going to do this. We're going to walk in there. We're going to talk their asses off while the rest of them do their job. Uh, yeah. Freely just looks at you and he's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get in position, okay? Do your thing. And he and he just sort of like slinks over towards like the shade of one of those trees and he just sort of like disappears. Like, yeah, and I point out to everybody into the underbrush. freely, like, hey, here's where those guys are waiting to ambush us. Seisha, give me a wisdom check, not a save. I'm just okay. uh, give me insight. Insight. Ins- oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. You're very good. At this. Um, does this roll- involve seeing through an illusion? Yes. I get I get advantage on seeing through illusions. Uh, well, this doesn't. This there are illusions here to see through. This is just this is just to realize something. Okay. I, that is going to be a wisdom twenty one. You cannot see Vinley, although you're sure the wand is here somewhere in this clearing, and you get a growing feeling in the pit of your stomach. Nebula might have just took the wand from her and she's got it. Is um does the is the wand pinpoint on Neb on Nebula? It is basically straight ahead. It only gets so close. Yeah. It's somewhere like you have found you have followed it into this clearing. It's here. It's it's roughly where she is. I walk forward. I go mm-hmm. up to her. When you walk forward, the big one gets up to its feet and it is towering. It's probably 12 feet tall. And you just go, little. And Nebula leans out from behind it slightly. And you hear in your mind, Voss, oh, brave warrior. Heart filled with love and altruism. So beautiful. Have you come to surrender? I have come for my friend. I have a question for you, though. And Harold of Freely are there as well, right? Yeah. Well, freely stealth kind of, he said, I right, right, that's right. He's so, stealth. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, it's, but, uh, yeah, okay. but Harold is right there with him. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm just, all right, cool. But I feel free to chime in at any time, but mm-hmm. I'm waiting to see what you start yeah. with. Before yeah. I, yeah. You all in. hear this in your minds. Her voice just like echoing. Like it is almost like deafening how she like, 
uh, the two of you that are invisible don't. Harold, you and Voss okay. do. Yeah. I right. was about to be like, oh God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Harold mm-hmm. is going to look over at Voss and look back and be like, well, let's be clear here. I've had a lot of dealings with Faye in the past. And I want to make sure that we're absolutely certain on all the details of this deal that we're making. I want to make sure that you nail down and pare down exactly what this means for our future. If we follow you and become King's gods, because you said a lot of titles and we wanted to make sure we knew exactly which one. And I want to roll deception roll to mm-hmm. fast talk her and just get roll her it. confused with all the bullshit. Harold just starts throwing at her. Mm-hmm. Roll deception. N- I swear on everything. Natural 20. <laughs> which makes my total which makes my total 31. Yeah. yeah. It's very much like, okay, so hear me out though. And, I'll... <laughs> like, and you see, she's like, and even the big one is like. And all I'm saying is that you. Words. You didn't make any contracts. There was nothing right. to read. So I think we're going to need to get this. We're going to get a signary. Somebody down down to write it. Uh, uh, while you all hear him word salading her, and she does seem very confused, even the mouth on her abdomen sort of like turns down slightly. Like, what? You know? <laughs> uh, what do Sasha and V do while this is happening? I'm going to continue to move around the clearing and... Mm-hmm just try to see if I can get any sign. Oh, oh, hang on. I would say still give me stealth with advantage because this is like wild and grassy and knotty. Like you still yeah. play like step give me, on give something. Me just he is, a he is mm-hmm. not a stealthy mm-hmm. snake. She's not a stealthy <laughs> snake. So she mm-hmm. is just kind of, she's, she's trying to figure out her moves before mm-hmm. she moves. So Mm -hmm. um, if I could do some sort of like perception check to see if I can see anywhere where Venley might be or anything like that. Or do I need to Uh, self-check before? You can, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, you haven't moved. If you're still on the spot, you don't need stealth. Oh, that's fair. That's Mm -hmm. that's fair. I mean, I guess I would. Ah! Yes, Seisha. I I, I don't know if this will knock out. Does Divine Sense knock you out of invisibility? it's a natural so. paladin ability it's yeah no you spell. just can it, it takes an action but you don't like do a thing i would Fantastic. say you yeah, i would say you could just sense it yep mm-hmm. divine sense looking for fey or undead i can actually sense fey i'm looking for fey or undead because i'm looking for her familiars uh there is a fey and an undead right next to nebula awesome okay mm-hmm. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're both yeah you don't see it with your eyes, but they're right yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Um, shit. Okay, I'm just going to stay pinpointed on them and move mm-hmm. to try to get within 15 feet. Uh, give me, God. give me stealth actually, with advantage. I'm just going to try to get within 60 feet. Okay. okay. Give me stealth. Give me stealth with advantage because you are invisible, but you are in plate mail and it's crunchy ground. Yeah. Yeah. I would say yeah. we are outside. Correct. Okay. okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's a 16. Hmm. That's really good for me, okay? I know. We need that yeah. to be amazing. Uh, all right, so hold- oh, yes. Yes. Yes, you do. Use your that's inspiration. You should, that's what you should do, V. You should roll your stealth with the inspiration. Eight. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Oh, roll- my God. That's a 24. So, it's a 24? Yay. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please, this game. <laughs> this game has got me uh, so stressed out. You, uh, 24? Okay. All right. Cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. I want you to know you super did not beat her passive perception before, but you do at 24. Yes! Um, uh, hold on. Well, I just need to check one I just want to frame thing. this die today. Right? Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm tell- he, no, he's right, though. Imagine how screwed you guys would have been without this astonishing luck. Holy um, shit. You feel yourself, um, you're moving slowly, but so far nobody has uh, reacted to you, Seisha, as you're sort of inching forward. Boss, as Harold is fast talking her, and she very much is like looking at him and the big one is too, like literally like scratching its head. Um, You are standing there. What is Voss doing? Voss, as they both look confused as Harold has them out, I just want to pull out the mask, inwardly thinking, 
I wish I knew you better, and I wish I knew what this meant specifically. But I just pulled it out towards Nebula, hoping something reaches out and takes it from me. Just say to the ether, I brought this back to you. Nebula, I will let you roll again to see if you break it, but I would say disadvantage. Normally you have advantage, so just a straight roll. You, you mean Vinley? You called her Vin Nebula. I'm sorry, Vinley. Vinley. Okay, it's emotional so right now. I don't We're like that you called bones. her Nebula. That makes Herald. me really nervous. Harold, for uh, inspiration, do I roll a d12 or six? D8. D8 in between. Neither. Yeah, right. Yeah. Neither. Or a compromise okay. right in the middle. I couldn't remember. I rolled a 12. Vinley, you feel a stirring in your heart as he holds this out and you see him, but it's not enough. Yes. You hear Nebula's voice in your mind. Stay strong, girl. He's not worth losing godhood for. None girl. of them are. Harold's going to elbow. I rolled a 19 on stealth. 19 on stealth? Yeah, uh, and where, I'm gonna, where are you heading? So I'm going to head, I'm just going to try to stay on the outside mm -hmm. and kind of inch my way closer to um, Nebula just because I'm like, she's got to be around Nebula somehow. And um, she's just kind of winging it as she goes because she really doesn't know what she's doing or have any plan of action. And that's just how V rolls. <laughs> just instinct, gonna, man. Just blind dumb instinct. And he's gonna be like, keep going, you're doing great. Say something nice. And I'm gonna I keep see. going and be like, and we're gonna need that in triplicate. So if you're going to make the printouts, <sighs> we're not gonna start with he, just one. Don't, we don't want to waste that. I, this is I say again, I say again. You've broken through chains before than this. You beat through Elatran. You serve no masters anymore. All we want is you back. And that's all we're asking for. Please dig this deep inside yourself and take it from me. Hmm. Such beautiful words from such a beautiful man. If you honestly believe that, you know nothing about me. Where we come from, things work differently. They shut up. Wait. And the big red one reaches out and grabs you, V. Oh, shit. He'd like lunge. Oh, no. And grabs bringing you uh, into full vision. And hey. looks at you and just goes, mm, sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, I'm not that sneaky. All of you roll initiative. I guess yeah. I needed to Can roll I... higher than a 20, huh? I thought you said You're it was 19. Still... Yeah, I did roll 19. I said, I guess Sna I should have rolled visible, higher than a 20. Her, her, pass her, passive yeah. per her passive perception is 19. Oh. <laughs> that's why she couldn't oh. see Seisha, but she could see you. Oh, did you roll? Cool. You used your inspiration earlier, did you not, V? Yeah, she did. She, she used I it on did. That roll. I did know her passive perception is nineteen. It's right here. That's true. That's all right. Damn. I mean, you know, that's hey, uh, no, no. uh, if, By the uh, way, Larvin, mm -hmm. he just passive perception is sixteen. So yeah. Well, as far as you can tell, Larvin Mage isn't here. Yeah. yeah. I know, um, but in, in the future, just in case. True. Okay. Uh, give me initiative. Twenty-five. Okay. All right, twenty-five. I'm sorry. No, it was great. It was, it was, it was oh, great. Oh, you were doing great. It was, what what is that? 20, 20, 20. Oh, did we do it? I also got a 20. No, I rolled a 20, but uh, it's a 19. Uh, I rolled a 19, uh, but, 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 I got but a it was a natural 20. 20? No, yeah. I'll count no, as a natural, natural 20. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, well, who all got natural 20s? Not a natural 20. Non natural 20. 20. Yeah, mine's dirty, 20, 20. dirty 20. Dirty 20. All right. Should I be rolling this? P Dave? Uh, yes, because theoretically something okay. might happen to you that, that matters. Uh, so that You're was right. uh, V was dirty 20, um, Harold's dirty 20, 
I got a 19. Amazing. Uh, Theoretically. Yeah, rolling. Hi. All right. Hi, um, high rollers. Vinlay's 19. Theoretically. Theoretically. Let's see <laughs> when they're going. Oh, my goodness. Uh, give me uh, athletics uh, real quick. Um, v, because he's yes. he's going to try and... Uh, Sweet. When he grabs you, he tries to grapple. I can do that. All right. Let's hope I do mm. well. I think that's all, y'all. Uh, <laughs> sorry, what what was yeah. it? Uh, Ten. Wait, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. I'm missing somebody. Uh, this dice is me? very hit or miss. One, two, I got three, a ten. Four, four. No, no, I got you all. Okay. Uh, uh, Sasha, Voss, V, Harold, Vinley. That's everybody, I right? I might be yeah. going down very, very soon. Uh, how much is that? All right, well, so what was your... You, when he reaches out and grabs you, and again, this thing moves impossibly fast for something that large. It oh, just yeah. picks you up. <clears throat> sneaky, sneaky. I do my best. Um, my best ooh. is not that good. And she says. somebody else got a natural 20. Oh, okay. yeah. All right, let's see here. Uh, Seisha, uh, it is your turn. Voss well, I'm grappled, correct? Uh, no, your natural, natural 20, 20 tops, tops even at 25. Oh, oh, okay. No, I'm not, not grappled. This is the first yeah. time you're, and the last time you're ever going to go first, so you take it. I know, no, I know. Yeah, there's it, like yeah. so much pressure you, you, now. I don't know what to you, do. Yeah, it's you, you, can, you cannot top a 20. Yeah, that's it, that's it. It's, it's supreme success. You're highly motivated right now to try and I save am. your sister. I am. Mm -hmm. it's, it's my Venley. Seisha is going to- uh, you're, you're still hidden. You know vaguely where she is. I do. Seisha's going to walk forward and just place her hand where she believes Venli is and cast protection from good and evil, which gives her uh, protection from them, from aberrations, and gives her advantage on all saving throws to so get out of being so, charmed. So a couple of things, a couple of things. Yeah. Uh, in order to do this, you, the big one, would get an attack at you because you would have to move past him to do this. That'd be the first thing. But I'm thing. invisible. Uh... Oh yes, no, they have they have not detected you yet. Yeah. Um all right. You're invisible, but she's invisible. Uh is that a touch attack? Actually, what I'd want to do is hug her. And yes, it is touch. I have to touch her. I, I'm gonna give you 50-50 to see if you can figure out where she is. Because you're about to I'm using invisible. the pinpoint of her familiars to do this. You walk forward, you cannot find her. You know you're close. You know you're close. Oh. I gave you a 50% chance and I rolled 100. <laughs> Literally oh. 100. <laughs> the, All right, you're, then you're I'm, gonna very get, much I'm like... gonna get as close to her as I can. Mm -hmm. And say so she takes a deep breath and closes her eyes. And when she opens them, her eyes are solid black. And I'm going to cast Arms of Hadar. Uh, hold on one second. Let me check something. Hold on. Let me check something. Blah, 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 blah. Everybody hold on while I do some terrible shit. Um, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, please hold. When you inhale and open your mouth to begin your incantation, no sound comes out. You okay. cannot cast the spell. You are in a zone of silence. Do I realize that as Ooh. I, do I waste my attack basically? Uh, you do, because this is the first thing you tried to do. You didn't know it beforehand. Does it you pop me out of stealth? Since I didn't get the cast. I'll say no, because it didn't okay. actually happen. Uh, I mean, you went okay. to say something and there were no words. So okay. the magic didn't manifest, did, didn't, break, didn't break the invisibility. Okay. In that case... I'm just, uh. yeah. And I can't grapple her because I couldn't find her. Correct? Couldn't find her. Yep. Okay. You know she's close. She's got to yeah. be close. All right. I'm but. just gonna stay where I am then and hold my action for if the uh, if the zone of silence drops. I'm holding my mm -hmm. action to cast Arms of Hadar. Freely got a natural twenty. He's doing something that is going to take a second for him to get into position for. Her. But uh, he is uh, he is moving along, um, and then it is Voss. Okay. So everything's gone shit up. Not surprising. <clears throat> I know. Do I know she's close? 
Uh, and the idea that she's close did, by because we've been moving through Seisha a lot. Now I want to meta game. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Did did Seisha express that at any point that uh, that she's here? I mean, I would say she followed the wand. You know, the yeah. wand is here. The I didn't, wand is no, somewhere. I yeah. didn't. Yeah. I didn't mm -hmm. think to pinpoint the um. The familiars, yeah, and you you are side. yeah you were already stealthing by that. So yeah, you yeah. just know that she's probably somewhere around Voss. Okay. Um, did we ever identify it? That big red thing is another star spawn. Uh, I, I think you could probably deduce it from like context to the fact okay. he's like chilling with the rest of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the Omeliana told us beforehand that Nebula will always switch places with another star spawn in order to mitigate damage. Correct. If you try and attack her. Yep. Okay. Um. So it's just Nebula, the big red guy, and there was one other thing here. One up in the tree. One up in the tree. Okay. Um, okay. This is a really... Okay, this is a really desperation maneuver. I hold out the mask one more time, and then I draw Mage Bane, and I put it to my own throat, and I say, if you do not take it from me right now, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> I will give you uh, another another save, Vinley, to see if you can break it. Just even. I rolled an 18. <laughs> like, total. Let's see. Let's see what you need. I will do, I will do this by the book. <laughs> So scared. If this works, headphones. <laughs> 18 is exactly what you needed. <laughs> Yay! Vinley, as he puts the mask to his throat, you are in this zone of silence. You cannot hear him, but you see this mask of resolve on his face as it lights up and he goes to harm himself. And in that moment, you are freed. I can't make any sound or anything, but you, I'm screaming. <laughs> you could you could theoretically drop your invisibility if you want him to see you. I would give you that as a free action. Yes, she immediately drops greater invisibility. You and all see your friend appear. Yes, it, you they you cannot make any noise, but what what do you do that they witness? And am I like physically in something or is it like the essence of something around me? It is magical. You are not physically barred. You are you are magically barred. You are not physically barred. I would like, uh, if I can, I would like to jump on top of Nebula. And if well, I it's can, not your turn yeah. yet. You just snap out of the charm. So I'll give you something yeah, as a free I just wanted to make to, sure to let your friends know that like it worked basically. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, she will reach out and grab uh, the mask out of uh, Voss's well, hand and put it on. He well, he's still some distance away I from think, you, yeah, but I, I will say you appear far. like you you see yeah. like okay. uh, <gasps> you know the, the, she appears like right next to Nebula <laughs> and like reaches towards you, and she turns her face and looks at you, and you hear in your mind, "Well, that is disappointing, but not unexpected." Uh, v, it is yo, it is uh, it is V's turn. Yes, not Van oh, yet. It is Vinley. V's turn. Yep. She yells that Vinley, mm -hmm. and then um, she's gonna rage. Mm -hmm. Same same ones are coming out. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll save y'all the explanation. <laughs> they reappear. Remember, you are grappled. I thought I wasn't grappled. Uh, no, he he won that he check. He grabbed grappled, you and picked yeah. you up. But yeah. I asked if I was grappled. Oh yeah, no, you're super grappled. No, you can do those. So you can rage. You can summon your spirits. You can do all that. No, but he like definitely like has you off the ground. Uh, in, okay, in his what hand. do I need to do to break grapple? Uh, opposed athletics now to try and get out. The athletics check. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's a strong boy. A strong I think boy. you have advantage when you're raging. I do. To uh, to try and escape that. Yes. I do. He uh, is strong me... and he rolled well. 
Yeah, let me double check. I have advantage. Um, gain advantage on no. I gain advantage on strength checks and saving throws. So if this uh, was a saving throw, I'll give you advantage on it. You're still you're you're angry. You mad? Okay. You got a mad on? All right. <laughs> twenty. Natty twenty. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Jesus. <laughs> V, I swear we're the luckiest on earth tonight. V, this, we would be dead like, without this. Just so you'd be know. like dead many times over. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now, oh, this yeah. thing oh, yeah. is like yeah. a vice, like uh, crashing onto you, and it's just looking at you with that same insane smile that they've all got. And as you see your friend appear there, like reaching out to you, it's like something just like snaps inside your mind, and you just. Ah! Like, <laughs> and it does just sort of like let go and you hit the ground yeah i for i forgot athletics is a strength check yeah no no problem <laughs> however uh technically that is only one of your attacks you yes. still have one attack left because bonus action to rage one action to get away uh, and then one action to do a thing all right so um i roll uh 23 to hit uh that is enough to hit it hell yeah all right, so that's gonna be. Uh, let me grab these boys. Mm -hmm. Thirteen points of damage. Uh, okay, you break out of his hand, and it just goes. Oh wait, no, fourteen. Fourteen points of damage. Okay. Sorry. Oh, then it dies. No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. It wasn't even a giant monster. It was just four dwarves in a trench coat. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not again. Every yeah. time. Oh, we should start checking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you hit it and it roars. Like, Bleh. Good. Um, I made it angry. Uh, is that it? For, <laughs> I imagine you're like, ah! Stealthy, stealthy! Yeah. Right. Uh, is, that, is that it for you, V? Um, yeet. Uh, Harold, your turn. And after Harold's Vinley, so now with your newfound free will, Vinley. What yep. material is that club it's carrying made out of? Hey, free will. Is it uh, metal? Look, looks like a, maybe like an iron wood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there is metal in it? Mm-hmm. I'm going to cast heat metal on it. Uh, does it have a save against that? No, it does not. Yeah, and it drops it or it gets burned, right? Uh, it gets burned, and then mm -hmm. if it wants to keep holding on to it, it, it has to make a check. Okay. Uh, which <sighs> I believe the... You is... all, something like burning and sizzling coming out of its hands there, as it sort of like looks down at it. Yeah, and it has to make a constitution saving throw or drop it. Uh, and it's going to take nine fire damage. Uh, what does it need to be to drop? Uh, a 16. <laughs> <laughs> And let's go. And it hits the ground, and you hear as it like burns the grass there. And it just like looks down and looks up at you with like its eyes are angry, but still with that insane smile on his face. I said in triplicate, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, Vinley, it is your turn. Okay. So since Vinley is silenced, um, She's going to do something that pretty much no one here has ever seen her do. She reaches down below two uh, flaps in her robes and pulls out two daggers and lunges at Nebula next to her. Uh, you can roll it. Uh, that's a 23. And wow, uh, that, that is enough to hit her. And then <sighs> with her offhand, uh, a 16. Uh, as you stab her with the first dagger, mm -hmm. she's like, the knife is coming towards her and you see things start to slow down again. And she just looks at you and says, not tonight, my child. And vanishes. And you see that chubby wizard appears. And <laughs> 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 like, opening his mouth and you hear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is the silence yeah. on? Uh, no, she did not actually okay. get hurt, so she has not dropped the concentration on the silence. Okay. That's legit. Um, I wasn't sure if it would move with her. Mm -hmm. oh, actually, let me double check. Let me see if it is centered on the target. Uh, stand by. Let me double check. <sighs> That's hilarious. 
<laughs> yeah, right. oh. ah, yeah, right. I thought we were cool. Like, I this will is suddenly just a bad day. Go right. ahead and say that for sure. Uh, he's taking seven points of piercing. Uh, it is centered on a point you choose. Okay. So she so. she still leaves the silence uh, here on this spot. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, although you all having been given a heads up for how these things work, you do see she's standing on the branch now, uh, up overhead where the other one was. Uh, okay, anything else for Vinley? Uh, my offhanded attack is mm -hmm. a 16 to hit now the wizard. Uh, that is enough to hit him. Cool, so it's just a straight roll. Oh, four. Mm-hmm. And like very much like bite into it. And he looks at you like very surprised because he didn't think that was about to happen. You know, he's <laughs> like, yeah, we're all like, oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, ah. <laughs> yeah, Um, it was like surprise stab. Now and... you know what it's like to be boss. Like yeah. you stab somebody <laughs> that didn't know it was about to happen. <laughs> like we're, we're building bridges. We're building bridges here, you know? And Understanding here. Her eyes mm -hmm. are bright red. There's just moisture all over her face and her hair has, is like, not as nice as it normally is. It's kind of starting to get, start standing up a little bit on its own. And as she's stabbing into this person, she's screaming, but you can't hear it. Mm -hmm. You very much see just like rage on her face and like its mouth is open, like howling oh. in pain. But again, you can't hear anything. Yeah, just in backwards knife holding like this, just mm -hmm. going in like she's climbing a mountain. Mm hmm. Nice. Uh, from up along the tree, uh, she, Nebula looks down at all of you and says, It's too late, heroes. It's already too late. And she vanishes, <laughs> is gone. Ooh. The big one who is now unarmed. Uh, let's see here. Hold on a second. Does the silence uh, drop? Yes. When she awesome. disappears, the silence does drop. Okay. Um, After the big guy, I'll give you damage. Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, I'm like, important, important thing. Um, he just swings at you wildly twice, V. Very, very poorly. Just move. Ah! Like it's nothing. The you just. Mm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. dude, chill. Yeah. Sneaky, yeah. sneaky. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, your breath smells. You need to take a chill. Like No, his breath is like super awful, by the way. Like far realms yeah. awful. So Seisha, um, the, she says well, gagging. Uh and uh, that is that, uh, but yeah, the other one is going to do something, but yes, Seisha. Um when the silence drops, my uh mm -hmm. spell goes off. Okay. Uh the uh, arms of Hadar. And I'm going to mm -hmm. position myself so that I don't hit Venley with it. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And uh, I need a strength saving throw. Uh, on the wizard or the big one? The wizard. Uh, he does not pass. Okay. Then he is going to take 10 points of damage, and he can't mm -hmm. take reactions until his next turn. <laughs> I mean, I realize this thing is this terrible creature from the far realms, but imagine how terrible that is. Or you're like, no, yeah, I'm all good. Ah, oh, stab, stab. Ah. Eat, some, eat some far realm action, too. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, she she yeah. appears, and her eyes are black, and these black tentacles just whip out from her and just beat the crap out of the mage. And they Vinley, kind of sink back into her, and she just smiles. Vinley, your sister's making you proud right now, I got to tell you. Like, she's like, it's, it's really, she's like, just like, <laughs> uh, you, you say uh, he is restrained. Is that what you said? Uh, no, he just can't take reactions until his next turn. Can't take reactions. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and he... is he within ten feet of the other guy? Actually, uh, no, he okay, is they're not, not ten feet. They're not actually within 10 feet of each other. Oh yes, no. Uh, no. What you guys didn't know is uh, there was a there was a globe of invulnerability uh, that was up here also because if you guys were like ha magic missile, she's like mm, nah. Um, nah, bro. Nah. Yeah, she's like, not today. Um, you see the wizard turns and looks at you, Seisha, and opens his mouth, and you just hear a bizarre echoing chanting sort of come out of his out of his mouth. It's like a chorus of a hundred thousand voices of insanity. Mm -hmm. 
and you feel these shockwaves like coming out from him, but you're able to step out of the way, like an actual cone that comes out of his mouth. Like, ah, but it does not hit you. Am I, I next see to worse him? things when I'm walking? Uh, you are not within melee range of him. You're in melee range of the big one, but not the me- not melee range of him. Gotcha. Okay. Um, okay, and we, but we are back around uh, to the top um, with you, Seisha. It is actually your turn now. Oh, excellent. Mm-hmm. Um, she is going to, she just looks at him after that, uh, the, the voices came out and she sidesteps and she goes, no, 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 like this. And she slams her sword against her shield and points the sword at him and casts Toll the Dead. Nice. All right. Yeah, he has been injured. So you all hear the bell boom, echoing out through this clearing. Oh, and I need a wisdom save from him. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did he need to beat? Uh, uh, sorry, 14. Uh, he does not make it. Awesome. So mm-hmm. then he's going to take, oh, whoops, D12s, sorry. Uh, one, two. How about 20 points of damage? Ooh. <laughs> uh, he, he like steps back and just like holds his head. Like, uh, uh, you all so over there uh, that are engaged with the big one, just out of nowhere, you, hold on a second here. Let me uh, check something. It is time. Yep, hold on. The springing halfling. Dude, he's good at one thing, man. <laughs> yeah, he's really good <laughs> at making people not exist anymore. Seisha, hey. at the, after she, she does the mm-hmm. Toll the Dead, she turns to Venley and just smiles. I'll always protect you, sister. And uh, when he steps back, I like to think in the movie section of this, um, he steps into Vinley, who has her knives, and she just smiles at Seisha over his shoulder. Oh, uh, that's sinister and adorable. Okay. <laughs> He's in what we like to call the Avery spot. It's the worst place to be in any battle. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... Freely got a net 20 also. <laughs> so, really? so I, think, I think that's my first one. No, that's not my first one, but uh, yeah. there, there haven't been many. Is this thing like whoa, yeah, swinging at you, V, and you're kind of like, I mean, what's even, like, what are you even doing? You just see a glint of light as Freely's sword just appears in midair air in green flames and just... Oh, <laughs> Oh. A column of flame, not unlike this, actually, nice. erupts out of his sword, just incinerating this thing to Harold the point. Poi- that- what a pleasant surprise! Harold yeah. points. He's like, "It's not a surprise. That's really." And it like hits the ground. Boom! Thanks, Freely. He just sort of like lands over there. Ah, ah, I hate this place. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> and it turns back and looks uh, towards the mage, which is the last one standing. Yeah, and Harold it is, slowly turns and looks as well. It is your turn, Voss. You have a clear path to get to Vinley as she and Seisha are beating on this caster who is still summoning his resolve to try and do something else. Also, freely drop 72 on that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it all adds up, man. Green flame blade and smite, and you know, 20. Yeah, like, yeah. um, but he's I all yours, boss. They're on either side of him. Oh, yes, yep. Okay, so I will occupy a space, a free space, as it were, on this mm-hmm. uh murder cuddle party we're having around this guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll go ahead and attack. Uh, that's <laughs> 24 to. It's 24 that, that, to hit. That is enough to hit him. I'm uh, sure he's gone now. All right. Uh, yeah, boss is going to just wipe the floor with him. 25 points of damage on the first attack. Uh, and that is enough to kill him. You tell me how you destroy this thing. I just 
watch him struggle between the two. And all I do is just wait for his eyes to be elsewhere. And then I just quickly snap the blade into the back of his head. So it comes out of his mouth and just let him fall. Cause I'm barely focusing him on him. And out of the corner of my eye, all I can see are Finley and Seja. And I just back up and just breathe a sigh of relief as his body hits the ground. Yes, Vinley. It turns and looks at you, opening its mouth to roar like it did at Seisha, and a familiar rapier pops out of it. I just, I turn to Freely and I say, that has to be worth something. Ah, I mean, I'm going to tell this story, man. <laughs> We're still Billy, that up, right? Or did he fall? No, he's oh. dead. Oh, okay. Yeah. She uh, well, kind of shakes her head a, and her eyes go back to gold. For a moment, there is silence, except for the light sizzle of the giant's club as it burns down to its component parts laying there in the grass. And you all stand there. Uh, Vinley okay? has her head down. And she walks up to Voss with her head down. And she just gently puts one of the knives to his stomach and says, don't ever threaten me like that again. I left so you would all be safe. And she looks directly up into Voss's eyes and says, I can't lose you people i don't care what it takes none of you will die just please right. none of us will die the same about you one team one outcome if you that's go, how we i all see go. it if you go we all go She uh, hugs Foss. I exhaustedly place the arm, place an arm around her shoulders and bring her in tight. And I just, once again, I look at Freely and I say, let's leave this place, please. He just sort of uh, nods. And like you see the sword sort of slide back into his arm and he just says, uh, I'm glad to have met all of you. I see, uh, I see what Harold was talking about. I run with a good crew, man. On both really? sides. Really? Orkira comes and visits us sometimes. Do you think you could too? You've seen Orkira? Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't find her. Like I, we got, uh, we got separated. There, uh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. but that means she's it? okay. That's good. Okay. When? What? When? When could you not find her? Uh, it's, it's, it's been a whole thing. I, I, I wasn't kidding. I, I just, I tried to save my friends. We were on a boat. It was exploding. I made a deal that I would give up my life for theirs, and I just ended up in like this other place. Like it, it's, it's far. But I was there with Avrin and Sophia. So I don't know if you've met Sophia. She's we have. She, Wonderful. She, she, yeah. We've met yeah, Avrin she, and Sophia. Yeah. Well, Seisha's just gonna slip her hand into Venley's while we're talking. He's like, yeah, no. Uh, I, just, I don't even know where I'm trying to get back to. Am I trying to get back to Avrin and Sophia and Callie? Am I trying to get back to Alindra and Penelope and 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 all of them? I just. But either way, let's get out of here. Yeah. yeah, how do we do that? Yeah. I don't know. Shit. And standing here in this patch of the fake <sighs> wild in a beer is a good place for us to stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was amazing, Dave. That was incredible. I didn't. Uh, I didn't want that. To I end, stand freely. That was amazing. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I love freely now. Freely, I think it's a higher level than I am. <laughs> He's like, I will die as I've lived. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, thank you guys. I know we ran a little over. Apologies for that, but uh, that I didn't. Amazing. I didn't want to rush. Right. I didn't want to rush what was taking place there. Um. In uh, now. Uh, 
this is why we can't have nice things because I, I, I turn it back over to your DMs to get you guys home. <laughs> oh my God. I do nice. want to say uh, one real thing. Nice. Before mm-hmm. we go. What's, what's the way I judge whether or not I like a DM and, and if I think they're a good DM or not is based solely on how much they make me cry. <gasps> and oh, oh, good shit. news. Good news for you. Great news for you, B Day. <laughs> it's funny that you say that because I judge my success on how quickly I can make someone cry. So, oh, hey, look, look I think at you that. got all of us tonight at some point. Yeah, I think or, everybody or, or, tonight. Well, maybe not Voss. Yeah, maybe not. But, but it was mainly tears. It was mainly tears. They were here. It was in here. Yeah. I heard a catch was, in it was, his throat. throat. It's true. It's uh, <laughs> what, what it, like they just said at the Japanese uh, theme part scream in your heart. Yeah, scream in your heart. Are, is that a real thing, by the way? Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. No, they really, they, it, 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 that's the it's translation. Right. They're like, you, if we're going to open the theme parks, but don't scream on the roller coasters because it spreads COVID. Literally, it's scream in your heart. It's the translation. Wow. That's hilarious. Scream yep. in your heart. Uh, you all are magnificent. Thank you for allowing me to You're come along. Thank you. Dude, this Grace was incredible. Table. Thank you. This Thank was you. so fun. Thank you yeah. so much. It's I I had it I had it much easier because yeah your DMs are gonna have to try and like squeeze it into two hours here. You know. So. I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, speaking of speaking of their DMs, oh. we're here hanging out and we have hey. we're, we're always talking. But the reason we're on here is because we're gonna pull winners for the uh, giveaways of uh, hashtag Beyond and hashtag Eldritch. If mm-hmm. you have not entered, entered hashtag Eldritch hashtag Beyond because uh, we're pulling those in the next thirty hashtag seconds. Beyond. Hashtag I'm glad Eldritch you, is for a I'm glad you. And- Hashtag Beyond. Hashtag Eldridge. Hashtag all the hashtags. And, and, and thanks for the raid. <laughs> yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank for you, the raid. Uh, yeah, uh, Dice and everything nice. Hashtag Ice Thank you so much mm-hmm. for the raid. B Day, well, that was amazing. No, was so thank good. you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you all having me. And uh, so hey, I'm, I'm, I'm officially turning it back over to the captains of this ship to do what you will do and see everyone off. But uh, thank you all so much. Like I said, I'm B-Day Walters. You see Freely, if you like this lucky boy, every Tuesday night on Silver and Steel, um, six o'clock on D&D Beyond. And uh, I run show. Dungeons and Dragons of Dark and Wish normally Thursdays at five Pacific on D&D Twitch. But this week it is a D4 takeover. And we will see how that works out. And with that being said, although we're not done yet, I am turning it back over to you guys. Thank you so much, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, that was that was amazing. Uh, I guess we're going to start next week's adventure in a beer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Oh no, I don't want them to have this power. Uh, okay, <laughs> um, our winners, um, winner of the Eldritch Foundry miniature is Lost Tonight. Ooh, Congratulations nice. to the, to you. And then winner of the Icewind Dale right. Rhyme of the Frostmaiden pre-order on D&D Beyond is Jekanowo. I'm sure I butchered that. I apologize. I am terrible with names. You will find <laughs> out this Thursday how bad I am. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations um, to, to you again. Thank you all. You were magnificent. I know I said I was done saying words, but I had to just say one more uh, round of accolades. So you, you guys were you guys were incredible. You were amazing. You, as well. you were amazing. Done, so Thank you so okay. much. It was a joy to play yeah. at your table, sir. Yeah, it was an honor working against my friends with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I just want you to know something. By the way, like Nebula is so freaking slimy. Like she a hundred percent knew what would break the charm. And what you guys didn't catch on to, because I don't think I said at the time, was there in the field, there was a zone of silence and a globe of invulnerability. So yeah. if you guys had been like, oh, I'm just gonna magic missile her to snap her out of it. It's like, you are not. Cause she yeah. knew you were gonna have to do a higher level spell to try and hurt her, which would probably kill her. And Nebula didn't care. Yeah. So that, oh. was the, <laughs> that was the whole plan. Oh my <laughs> God. She made mm-hmm. me cast greater invisibility. Nice. She didn't cast it on me. I was cast mm-hmm. it on myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yep. She's terrible. Nice. She, yeah. She, she's like she's a garbage <laughs> star spawn. Yes. Yeah. Who's okay. your favorite? Who's your favorite? Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm not you know, I, favorite. I, I know who. Yeah, I know who our favorite is, I, and I'm not going to tell it, you either. I think I know, I know who. who I think I know who it is. You, you know because... what? You know what? I'm, I'm going to help. I'm going to call one last single audible, and I will, in fact, play us all off here. So again, thank you all. Uh, this was fantastic. Please tune in Thursday to see what your guys do to my sweet children, and uh, we will see you all right here next week. Bye. Bye.